Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Good luck, Calvisham. I think I see you're playing Valheim. Let's chat a little bit. So, <laughs> I, I want you to know, Chad, I was on a magical adventure trying to get this to run in OBS. Uh, my only solution was to uh, have it in display mode, which is not my favorite. Uh, it would not register with the game hooks or anything like that. Um, my other tip to people that are playing this game, especially if you're looking to stream and or just play for casual play, alt enter full screens. I'm not sure why there aren't window settings in the game itself. That, that feels like a big misstep. You know, you would think if you go into options, one of the first things that should be there are display settings, but ain't. <laughs> so definitely apologies if the aspect ratio looks a little off since it just doesn't exist. I don't know why. Thanks, Konami. But anyway, I wanted to give this version of the game a shot since it offers a couple of features that are possibly going to make me like the game more than when we did our first attempt. Number one, it allows up to three screens at once. Yeah, all enter is just gross. <laughs> but uh, from, from the standpoint of the game itself, I can have the map and enemy information up at once, which is a neat feature. Obviously, there's like the, the casual rewinds and save states and whatever. Listen, I'm not looking to do that. The thing I'm really interested in... They have controller support for all of the touchscreen stuff. And they've also, in addition to that, I guess it's technically three points then. Remove seals, kind of. I can do button inputs instead of drawing for the seals. I want to see if that makes the game more enjoyable. I've also done a little bit of very, very light research and looking at what souls I should grind based off of a recommendation from a friend of the stream, Jupiter Climb. So we're going to do our best to go through the game and see how it goes. But let's go ahead and pause the soundtrack and I guess wish me luck. Hopefully things will be loading as expected. So we can already see the triple screen. I guess we'll just go into Game Star. Use the right stick and RT for touch controls. You can also use a mouse. Note, some features in the game only work with touch controls. Yeah, so unfortunately there are a couple of moments in the game where you have to still use touch controls. Uh, and basically anything involving ice puzzles. <laughs> unfortunately. So, I'm just curious. Like, right now I can't do anything, but if I hold the right trigger down, I can draw. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, I hope I can improve that cursor speed. Okay, that is much better. That would be a little much for me. I think this is... I kind of wanted something between this and this, but it is what it is. Guess I can live with this. This is a sequel to Aria, indeed it is. So I'm getting used to it a little bit. I still think the mouse would be a little easier here. I'm just gonna draw something random, get used to the controls, see how I feel about it. <laughs> that, that'll be our doodle. Oh, it's gonna leave that on screen. Oh, that's annoying. I don't want that on screen. Can I make that go away? Ever since the solar eclipse of 2035, my life has never been the same. It was then I realized that I, Summa Cruz, and the rebirth of Dracula. It was in his castle, now sealed in the eclipse, that I learned the truth. That possessed the power to seize the souls of my enemies. That evil power almost engulfed me, but my friends pulled me back from the brink. About a year has passed since then, and I thought my troubles were over. Yeah, we're playing as Prince Puffycoat, and we're going to be uh, knifing people as usual. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, Mina, I'm very serious. Yeah, that's when Hammer decided to. Wait, Soma, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course, Mina. What's wrong? It's been a year since it all happened, hasn't it? Yeah, just about. What was it called? You know, the ability to use the power of monsters? <laughs> you know, just the casual way to talk about something that I should probably know about? You mean the power of dominance? I lost it when we escaped Dracula's castle, remember? I love that. I like I like how judgmental his face is with that. He's like, did you hit your head? I know, but it's just that I get this terrible feeling inside. Like we're in a sequel or something. It's probably nothing. Look, don't worry, okay? 
Healthy Shim says an ice on my cruise is a normal guy. Still walk around with a knife in my pocket. Hell yeah. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Uh, one second. Close. That's annoying. It went to the wrong screen. That's what I was worried about. How do I see the chat without doing it? Is it really not going to do that on anything other than the other screen? Apologies, chat. I'm not used to having a game forced on the other monitor, so I keep misclicking. There we go. Now I can see you better. I usually have one big screen just to see you, but because that's where the game is, because the resizing was very awkward, I would like to see. Uh, we, we worked it out in the end. This past year, I haven't been able to use any of the powers I gained. Also, I will say one downside with uh, Donosaur in particular, uh, being on like emulator when we tried it, uh, it had a lot of slowdown. Like, not in every room, but in particular the snowy scenes, it definitely had hissy fits. So it'll be nice to not have to deal with that. <laughs> we said this playthrough. I just have to deal with OBS, Jang. And... What else are we dealing with? You... You're Soma Cruz, aren't you? Uh, yeah. And you are? You may call me Celia. And I am here to see your... To see you're dead. Uh-oh. Did they leave the typos in? Uh-oh. She's here to see your dead. There you go, chat. Bring out your dead. Get the cart. <laughs> Listen, chat. Some things never change. Come forth, my servants. Yeah, oh dear. Big oops on that one, chat. I mean, it's like... It's like right in the beginning of the game. It's, it's kind of hard to miss that. I'm sorry. What? Nina, get back. Damn it. Of all the worst... Soma, you back off too. Hi, Alucard. Mr. Aricardo. Genya Aricardo, the Guardian. Hm. You shall not interfere. A barrier. Quick, Soma, use this. <laughs> he just tosses us a knife. Alright. So we can see kind of our stats in the upper right, I guess, while we play the game, which is interesting. We auto equipped the knife. We didn't come with anything else. Okay. Up and X. You know what? That actually corresponds to the correct button. I think that's what surprised me more, chat. Now, my question is. Right bay consumes MB wall in effect. Oh. Okay, I was trying to remember the controls. We're good. Sure. We'll take some strength razors from Golem. Some Cruz, I shall see your demise. That is certain. Using whatever means. Wait! Save your energy. You won't catch her now. Damn it. Summer, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. But that power had returned. Ericotta, what's going on? The power didn't return. It was always with you. You just never had a need for it since you fled the castle. Of course, chat. And that set free all the souls you had gained dominance over. You mean I couldn't use the power because I wasn't dominating any soul? Hmm. Anyway, who is that woman? She seemed to know you. Celia Fortner. She's the priestess of a new and rapidly growing cult. We suspected she was up to something, so we've been keeping tabs on her. But why would someone like that come after Soma? They want to resurrect the Lord of Darkness, like someone sought to do with Dracula. I guess they don't like the fact that I didn't become the Lord of Darkness. Not only that, they intend to eliminate a new Lord. Oh, excuse me. They intend to create a new Lord by eliminating you. E eliminating? But Soma, you don't need to get any more involved with this. Let us deal with it. Yeah, the classic good old jump stabbing. I gotta warm up to this game. 
One thing I am kind of sad between Dawn and Aria is that it was just a lot easier to do cancels in Aria. So I have to remember all the weird quirks of this game. Like, there are some souls you could backdash out of. There are some attacks you could backdash out of. There's some you have to crouch and then backdash out of. So there's... It, it'll come to me. It's, it's, it's just a warm-up. She's the leader of a coal because she was up to something. Come on, do better, Alucard. Exactly. They're saying, uh, we return to future Japan land of vampires where teens walk around with concealed knives. Damn right. That woman. She said she would see my demise. Well, okay, classic JRPG. You gotta repeat what they say. Soma. Several days later, dot dot dot. Oh, it flipped where the screens are? Why did it do that? Wait. Wait, why did it do that? Is that an option? Oh. I didn't... I swear I didn't press anything, but I do have a button to do that. That's interesting. So it's select on my controller does that. I mean, I had no reason to press a button there. That's why I got really confused. Unless pushing in a button does something. No, just the speed up of the mouse. So, the cold space is here. Ember's info was, wasn't so iffy after all. <laughs> you doubted my word? Hammer, what are you doing here? What? Are you dense? Who told you about this place? Wait, it was me. Well, yeah, but... Hey, you got your mind on doing something wicked, huh? I want in, buddy. And hey... What happened to that pretty lady? You remember, right? Oh, that's right. My least favorite version of Amber is in this game. You mean Yoko? She's not coming. In fact, I haven't told a soul. Man, you are so much better in Arya. Although that is a face that he's making. I'm not going to lie right there. Huh? She ain't coming. Well, why, why not telling her at least? Oh, man. Well, since I'm here, I better make the best of it. Guess I'm back in business and you're my customer. Hammer, look, I'm saying this for your own good. You really should leave. Yeah, he he probably should. Honestly, with how few times we're going to use his shop, honestly, he probably should. We'll just call him when we're done with, like, five bosses. Then, then we'll be in business. Can't do that, I'm afraid. I know when someone's in trouble, and I'm not just going to leave you here. I mean, you probably should leave me here, to be honest. Okay, I appreciate it. I'll scoop... Oh, excuse me. I'll scope out the area and find a spot to set up shop. See you around. Man, why wouldn't he just tell her about this? <laughs> he's acting like he's like 17. I don't understand this characterization. So my dot dot dots appropriately. Okay. Feels like we're in slow-mo. There we go. It's starting to come back to me. Hold on. Sort of. It's okay. Just so, just so Chad is aware, I want to explain this, what I'm doing. If I attack and I backdash, this is all I could do if I mash between these. If I attack, then crouch, then dash again, I could chain them. So I could do something like that. But it's a, it's a little awkward. See, so yeah, I, I gotta I gotta warm up to it. That was a properly cancelled one. I can't just mash it. There's like a rhythm to it. Short sword. I mean, sure. I, I keep forgetting equip is both souls and items. It actually threw me off for a second. Save room. Press up. Sure, we'll save. I mean, the sound effects sound okay. I just feel like the character's walking slow. Maybe it's just me. I played this game in a while. Unless they did something in the controls, which would honestly not surprise me.
Just like the menuing seems fine, just the game itself seems a little weird. Alright, so there is sort of like land cancels. I will briefly hit the other menu to check something. So just to show off, I guess. So we we can position the different screens however we want. I could turn up the voices a little bit. But I just wanted to show you, chat, that there is no way to like really resize the game other than literally dragging it or alt entering. Uh, I want the sound effects just a little quieter. Do something like this. Yeah, just showcasing this for people that were curious about the controls. Love how it says activate bullet, because I think they're technically called bullet souls. Oh, Y is used for swapping between equipment. I mean, I'll, I'll think I'll get used to this. I mean, this is pretty standard stuff. So if I hold left button, I can rewind. I don't really intend to use that in our playthrough, but you know, it is what it is there, I guess. Huh? Those two. Oh, Soma! Yoko, Julius, what are you two doing here? Funny you should ask that. We got wind of this cult from a tip by Ericato. Investigating with Mr. Belmont. I'm sure you remember him, the hunter. Soma, please understand. If the darkness draws you in, I have no choice but to destroy you. Yeah, I know. Then there is no reason for you to be here. That's right. Really putting yourself in danger. That Celia woman. Only was she after me. She. Did she she I tried to harm Mina too? <laughs> right, chat? Oh, we're gonna have to have a typo counter. She I tried to harm Mina too, chat. Darn that she I. We'll find her soon. I'm not gonna stop until I find her. You're determined, I see. Then I have nothing more to say. Wait, wait, Julius. How could you just say that? You barely tried to convince him. I'll be going now. Welcome, Kirk. Wait a second, I'm coming too. No, Yoko, you stay. Need a contact here, just in case. Hey, wait, you can't just... Hope you're doing well, Kirk. Men, they're so selfish. I bet you have no intention of going home either. Well, uh... No, Yoko, you leave hammers here. Pretty much. Fine, then. Here, take this. Magic seal one. And this is... A magic seal. A terrible gimmick. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> magic seal? The cult leader appears to create gates that draw the power of darkness. Monsters exposed to that power are said to be invincible. So how am I supposed to destroy them? <laughs> I see you like to play Castlevania, indeed. That's where this magic seal comes in. Want to practice using it? I actually do, surprisingly. Sure. Good, now watch closely. Draw a figure exactly as shown. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Show me the real way it's gonna be done. Oh, that is so much better. Oh my gosh, chat, that is so much better. I can't even tell you how much of a relief it is to button input that. I cannot even begin to describe to you how much better that is. Good, that's it. Just don't forget how you did that. And for the most part, that was intuitive, but I'm kind of curious about the ones that end up looking like stars, how it's going to be drawn. Oh, and one more thing. You can practice drawing a magic seal at any time. I'm not sure how to do it. You should definitely practice. Got it. A magic seal activates on its own when it's needed. Give it a try and see. Okay, now. Let's go find Soma. Wait, did she say Soma? Wait. Now I feel like rewinding. Hold on. Wait, what? Oh. She said, let's go, Soma. My bad. The only read one we're going to use in the playthrough. It's, it's to go reread the dialogue chat. Huh? Go where? It's a dead end here. Only Julius could get in from somewhere like this. We should go back and find a different way in. We're, we're just, we're just plebes. We don't know how to uppercut. Oh, right. We have to. There's no shelter from the rain and wind here either. Yes. Will you escort me? Uh, sure. Of course. Okay. It, it's kind of like one of those lines, like, the sun will be rising soon. I'm like, yes. <laughs> and what does it have to do with what we're doing? Thanks. Let's go.
Oh, if we cancel too fast, the sword doesn't even come out. Man, that kind of sucks. The knife might have actually been better. Just because knife is more instant. Kind of unfortunate. I do eventually want that axe armor soul, but I have some time for it. There's apparently a better place to farm it. We need one for the end of the game as a reminder. As a reminder also, we have to get three souls. One of them is going to be Clowny. One's going to be Ukabak, and one is going to be Axe Armor. I need an Axe Armor soul for when we go to fight Manicor and also get a uh, weapon out of him. So that was the, the light research I was talking about before. This door. Looks like you'll need a magic seal right away. I also like how that's automatic, but the bosses force you to do it. Most likely, you'll need a magic seal to finish off the monster in here. Just be calm and focused. I'll be waiting here. No problem. Wow, I love how she doesn't even try to help us. She's like, yeah, you're on your own, bro. Okay, well, fortunately, we're going to be doing a lot of jump attacks anyway, so backdash cancel doesn't matter as much here. Yeah, if I had the axe, I would have been double hitting here. So, the bone just does double damage. Look at how much faster that was, chat. Oh, did we get the soul? Nice. Oh, that's right, it's flying armor. Duh, we need that. I forgot that bosses, I think, more or less give it to you in this game. You did it! Using magic seals is a piece of cake. Welcome, Koishepi. Hope you're doing well. Don't be too sure. That magic seal won't be useful forever. What do you mean? They have probably prepared new and more complex patterns for magic seals. Hmm. But not to worry. They must have hidden the magic seal pattern somewhere. <laughs> they must have, chat. They must have. Yeah, I like that when we fight the armor, at least at the end of it, we could see what they were weak to for chat that was curious in the bottom right. No worries, Koishepi. They didn't. The gates of darkness would be useless. I get it. No, I don't get it. I won't keep holding you up as my escort anymore. I can manage now. You sure? In that case, I'll be going now. Oh, there's one more thing, though. Julius may have some new information, so come see me if you're close by. And Soma, please don't do anything reckless. Take care. Count on it. You take care too, Yoko. Can't talk. Oh, we can talk to her again. Soma, please don't do anything reckless. I don't think I tried doing that before. Oh, I gotta get used to the cancels. Look at that tease of an item. They're like, if only you had something that would slow your fall. We got the claymore now. Does that have a hitbox at the... Like, okay, when I do this... Okay. I, I might be able to work with that. <laughs> got a spear. Well, that was just rude. Yeah, I gotta get used to the timing. There's like a little bit of a rhythm to it. Rhythm has not been my strongest suit in playing games, to be honest. Okay, so it's like... Like attack, backdash, crouch, but then... I gotta do it quick. There we go, I was starting to get it there. like almost like I gotta hit the other two buttons a little closer together to get it we got some time to practice oh that weapon speed feels terrible I'm not gonna lie can we have something just a little faster take the spear for now oh 
Oh, you see, see, that one is much faster to cancel. It's a shame it doesn't attack right away. But I think I just want the range of this weapon. Although I'm noticing it doesn't hit the entire length of the weapon, just uh, literally where the spear comes out. We might be able to do something like this. I want to do some basic tech without going into like the chain cancels. If I do an attack into a throw weapon, that might work. There's a little Mina doll, I think, in the background. Oh, hi, Soma. You're going to act as Julius's contact here? Yes. There is no one living here, so I thought it'd be okay. Oh, that rough-looking guy's right across from me. What was his name again? Damn, forever forgotten. Hammer? Yes, that's it. What is he doing here? He came to help me. Honestly, you didn't ask him to come, did you, Soma? Of course I didn't. Jazz hand dolls, pretty much. Sure you wouldn't. But it's dangerous for him to be here. Can't you tell him to leave, Soma? I told him already, but he won't budge. Besides, it's hopeless now. Especially after someone who's not supposed to be here showed up. Huh? Well, if he won't listen to you, I suppose it is hopeless. By the way, I gained a new ability. <laughs> You'll be using it like twice in this entire playthrough. A new ability? What? So, the power of dominance lets you control the souls of monsters, right? Right. So I thought I could use magic to draw the monster souls out and use them. <laughs> I'm here for people that want to spend like 20 hours grinding. You mean release the souls? Something like that. Of course, I won't. I would need your cooperation, Soma. And it's not e something. Oh, excuse me. And it's not something that's easy to do. So how do you plan to use these freed souls? Well, I can fuse the freed souls with a weapon, thus creating a new weapon. The souls you use will be lost, though. Yeah, the fact... Okay, I would like to also comment. The fact that some of those soul combinations require you to, require you to give up boss souls is, like, actual insanity. What were they thinking, chat, with some of these crafts? And you even do that? That's rather rude of you to ask. I may not look the part, but I'm an exceptional... Oh, excuse me, but I am considered an exceptional spellcaster. Just tell me if you need something. I'll show what I could do. Okay, then. Oh, and with my magical abilities, I may be able to reduce the number of souls. Not sure if you'll need it, but just keep that in mind. Got it. So may I help you with anything today? Free the soul! So anyway, uh... We don't have what we need yet. But you can see, like, if we had, if we had gotten the warg soul on the way here, we could have gotten an easy upgrade. Could technically get rid of Armor Knight, because I don't think there's any purpose to it. But since we don't have a lot of interesting weapon types and soul combos, how much we could do at the moment. There we go. I did the back dash jump, chat. Round of applause. Hey, welcome. So what do you think? Not a bad job, hey? All the weirdest places to set up a shop. Normally, I tell you to have a f look around and spare a few coins to help an old friend, but... Hiyoko's in the area. I saw her earlier. She must have come after me. That's not it. Jeez, you sure are quick to put a man down, aren't you? She's here to investigate this cult, she said. Well, whatever the case, I could tell you I'm a lot more motivated now. Come to back me up? Anyway, have a look around and buy something already. Um, we could get the castle map. Most of these we'll pick up just by playing the game, so I'm not super worried about this. I don't really need to get defense ups. As a reminder, luck doesn't really do anything in this game. The effect it has is so minuscule, it might as well as not be working. So we'll be ignoring that stat entirely. I guess I'll get the UMA news at the castle map, just because... I don't think I really care about the other items at the moment. Exclusive scoop. Abominable snowman discovered. Hmm. I don't think we bother doing the UMA things. So there are monsters hidden in this game that have special requirements, but unfortunately a lot of them are requiring us to get souls. And chat knows. Chat has seen my luck with getting souls in this game. It was uh, not great. So we're probably not going to see them this playthrough either. Oh 
Welcome, RJ Chaos. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Honestly? Oh, Mace is so slow. I might go back to the knife for a little bit. I just need some quick damage on enemies. Yeah, we can very quickly cancel it, which, which is also nice. We're just like a little too weak to kill Warg in one combo with that. Everything else is fine though. Oh, I, I forgot to check down here to see if there's an item. Okay, so where do we go? We know we have to go down the bottom path. I guess I have to go back to the other area. We'll try one more time to get the Axe Armor Soul. I forgot to mention, that's also why I came over here. Otherwise, we have to get it later. But sadly, we did not get the Ward Soul or the Axe Armor Soul. That kind of sucks. I think the first time we played, we got kind of lucky and got it within six. But alas, it's not meant to be. Yeah, I don't think we could do anything up here yet until we have double jump. There we go. For those that didn't see it before... See how there's a creature in the background here? We need to come back with this specific item. I just wanted to show that off for people that didn't see it before. We can force that creature to come out and fight us. But not at the moment. So anyway, let's proceed. Maybe we'll actually get a soul, question mark? What do you think, chat? Do you think we're gonna get another soul before we get to another boss? My, my money's on no. Even though I am killing things as I go through, I just don't think it's gonna happen. Oh well. Yeah, I didn't really understand the item needed either, to be honest. I think it's like Bobo Curry or something. We have to kill the, the chef, or the waiter. Oh, we actually got a soul. It's completely useless, but we got one. We did it. Together we are victors. Hmm. Anything else I wanted to check out? Into this room. Bat bro, yeah, we did get bat bro. Sadly, the familiars in this game are also kind of terrible. Yeah, I guess I could try up here. I forget when this opens up. Let's go check real quick. Yeah, see, this is still not opened up. So sad. Oops. Did not mean to fall down there. Okay, let's actually make some progress. Another 1,000 in case I wanted to buy something. Aw, oh, this enemy. I kind of like the bone. It's actually a pretty solid starting soul, to be honest. I could go up here. I think that's... Is that supposed to be Celia? I really thought about that before. A lot of baths. I think this just ends up in a mirror room, if I remember correctly. We need to come back here when we have, uh, Paranoia. Yes. There is something here we could collect now. Was it worth it? Probably not. Eh, two defense. Sure, why not? Okay, we don't have the ability to go into mirrors yet. Okay, knife slingering hitbox? Kinda nice, not gonna lie. Kinda liking the knife.
I'll take that potion. Hello, DevG. Hope you're doing well. I did not do that properly. There we go. A little better. We got another soul. I remember Cat is actually not that bad. It's more expensive. Not that much more expensive, honestly. Anyway, deploy the cats. Listen, we just saw the movie Coraline. We just gotta throw cats, and we beat everything. But I learned from that movie. Doing great. That's good to hear. Doing okay. We're deploying the cats. Just throw more cats at the problem, chat. Now we could go back to where we were before. <laughs> Already beat my entire other run. You know what's kind of sad? That is kind of true. I think we only ended up with like nine souls. Think about mm, it. This I is had, getting interesting. I had the starting souls. We farmed the three required. I got gu guillotiner. I think maybe I got some status ones. Maybe, maybe it was closer to 15 total. But it was not by much, I'll put it that way. The downside, the cat is not a good projectile or how high up in the air that enemy is. Uh, nothing I could do up there. Let's proceed. Show us the cat indeed. Well, speaking of which, let me uh, make sure that this is in the right layer. It might be too high up. Give me one second, chat. Okay, going forward, you should be able to see it. Hmm... You know, the the first time I did this on stream, I got this in one this try, is the Reaper's power. more or less. I'm so sad. I'm probably not going to get the invisible maze in one try. Honestly, the blind first try attempt was my favorite. There we go. I was going to say, you get to see all the zero soul counts at the bottom, right? It's just it's not damage enough. We might use, need to use mace on that enemy. Or we got one sword. Oh, katana? Oh, katana. Love Katana. Thank you, Glowy. Hope you're doing well. We gotta get, we gotta de-rust with Castlevania. I've not played in some time. All that just for a mimic. Oh no, it's actually treasure this time. I guess that's nice. Yeah, it's like... like... If I do it too quick, it doesn't quite work. It's such a shame that it has, like, such a hard stop. Like, if you do, like, an attack into an evade, you're just, you're just locked in place if that happens. That's what stops me from chaining them as easily. It's like they didn't want to have people to have fun with the combat. It's such a shame. Like, free Castlevania chain combos, please. I was gonna say, the cat is putting in overtime here, chat. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very happy we got that soul. It saves us a ton of time in the future. Although, we'll be sticking, I think, the skeleton bone for the boss. But for casually walking through here, having just, like, a lingering hitbox is kind of nasty. Still didn't get an axe armor, huh? That sucks. Again, we're gonna have to get it eventually. 
I'll try one more attempt at getting it. Otherwise, we'll just come back later. Oh, I thought she would die. Damn. Unlucky. We need one to beat the game. Just, just a reminder, Chad. I do need it. So I think we're already uh, RNG locked so far. We're going to see if there's any more. Otherwise, we'll remember this room has one. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, luck's turning around. Oh, we also need this. Hmm. I think this enemy is actually worth farming. Hold on. Damn, Cat's putting in the work. So if we get this, we could get a strong item later. There we go. We're gonna go for it, Chad. We don't care about its item. If it drops an item, it's whatever. Oh, we got the oh, we got the soul. Nice. I guess it's up to me if I want to get another one. I don't really care about its combat utility. Also, I like the painting looking at us. Hmm. Ploy cat chat. Slaughter, huh? That's a good soul to get if we get it. Um, I guess I'll go this way just for the chance of doubling up on Slaughter. That is a pretty good soul. We got it last time in our playthrough. It did help on several of the bosses. Yeah, the fact that that multi hits. So good to us, chat. Uh, this platform. So we're eventually going to get hit by ice. There's not much we can do about it. <laughs> Wish I could have multiple cats on screen. Can you imagine, chat? So sad. Alright, so let's double up our chances of getting slaughter. Remember the map a little more since we've not played Dawn and... I think a year, and we've only really played it once, so... Gotta remember the maps. Did he actually block that? What a god. Joke's on him. I got more cats. Alright, so sadly so far not getting it. This room seems perfect for trying to get the soul. It might be worth grinding for. It does do a lot of damage. Our backup is getting... Oops. Game. It's locking me in the corner there for some reason. The backup is getting guillotiner later, which is fine. I'm gonna try one more time to get the soul. Ooh. Messed up the cancel. Right, one more attempt. Ouch. I got too close. Alright, let's move on. We could say I tried. We get another chance. Yeah, the cat goes crazy for sure. And where does the workroom take? Oh, it takes us back here. I guess I'll take it. Yeah, the only thing I was not super clear about is what weapon is needed. It might be an axe I need for the fusion. Let's go see if we can fuse now or if we have to wait later. Damn, Cat's just... That is hard carrying me right now, I'm not gonna lie. Listen. It does what it needs to do. Let's see, do I have what I need to make the super weapon? Oh, I sat in the chair by accident. 
so she's glad to see me. What was that man's name again? Hammer, right? Did he try something funny? I often notice him glaring at me. I don't think he's glaring, but dot dot dot. Since he is a neighbor, I usually give him a smile, but he always looks away. Did I do something to upset him? No, you're imagining it. He just looks rough, so it looks like he's glaring. I'll ask him about it the next time I have the chance. You will? Thank you. How may I help you today? Alright, so I'm just gonna open up a list for my own reference. Give me one second. Oh, I might need great axe armor. Hmm. I mean, that's fine. I don't mind having extras of these. We have Armor Knight, and that's all we can make at the moment. It's like, okay. Dev says I named my pupper Hammer. Pretty coinc purely coincidental. Nice, nice. Yeah, so I think if we get Bomber Armor, for example, we can upgrade the Blunt Sword into a Katana, and then from there, we can go all the way to Ket Tetsu, etc. But unfortunately... None of these are all that interesting. So, I guess if I have regular axe, I guess I could technically get started on the chain. Let's go see if we could buy regular axe from the store. Or maybe I'm just locked out of it. We'll see. Tell me, you came at the right time. Just got a new magazine today. UMA News. It's about real monsters. I think it's got news about this area, too. It's gotta be good. Buy it if I feel like it. Hey, but watch out. Don't you dare read it in my shop. These things sell info. You look at it for free, it's the same as stealing. Oh, let's steal it then. I know that. Okay, as long as you get through that- as long as you get that through your head. Released every so often, so check in to see if a new issue's arrived. Okay. Wanna buy it now? Not really. I'm just curious about something. Okay, let's pick that up. I could buy armor, because there's no real point to my money, I guess, at the moment. So I should have everything I need for the other thing. Wait, didn't he say he had a new UMA news for sale, but he only has the first one? Wait a minute, that dialogue lied to me, Chad. I own that already. What a, what a filthy liar. Yeah, if I want to upgrade Katana before upgrading it again, I need to get Bomber Armor, which I'm going to be honest with you, chat. I like Katana, but I don't like Katana that much. I'm not grinding Bomber Armor. Oh, she's asking me something again. It's about Julius. Do you think he considers me to be just a burden? Oh my gosh. I I don't think he thinks like that. Soma, you saw him. The drawbridge, he left, me he left without a word from me. Before that, he also said the monsters inside were tough, so I offered to help. And do you know what? He turned me down as if I were a child, she says while pouting. Whoa, calm down. What, are you on Julius's side, Soma? No, that's not it. I know that Julius is just worried about you. But I can fight too. No need for him to worry about me. Yoko, you just don't understand how a guy thinks. <laughs> oh, that's... Oof. That did not age well. He just cares about you and doesn't want to see you get hurt. That would be ten times worse than getting hurt himself. But you have to try to understand for his sake. If I were in Julius's spot, I think he'd say the same thing. Really? Well, I guess I could see that. But waiting around all the time isn't much fun. When you get home, make sure you treat Mina right. Yeah, I know. Glad I have someone to confide in. So may I help you? Nice. Right, so now we should have the axe. So we got axe armor earlier, so we're going to need to get another one before the end of the game. There we go, Chad. We're gonna get upgraded axe. So it might allow us to one-shot some of the other enemies. So battle axe is crafted. And because we got Manticore, we're gonna get Buge. 
So this is the only... I think this might be the first time I've ever crafted on stream, or maybe second. So there we go. That, that'll be a strong early start. So the difference is... I could be at 11 strength chat or 40. So let's see how we feel about the game difficulty after this. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, if you know what the souls are, what? How did? How different does the game feel? Yeah, isn't that quite a jump? This is why I was grinding earlier. Also, that was unlucky. Oops, I cannot platform today. Yeah, knowing that you can do that, it should speed up the run significantly. We're going to be using this weapon pretty much for the next, like, five or six bosses. That's how strong it is. We should just one-shot most things. But we also are really slow. We still might need to use Katana in some rooms. Uh, I'm going to try and hit Slaughter to see if we one-shot him. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of a that's kind of a damage difference, chat. Like, so if I do like really good cancels with katana, it's equal to one swing from this axe. So you you let that math for you. Kind of silly. Hmm. Actually, that just straight up one shots. I mean, I guess farming is not the worst with this character. Hello. Poor monster. That was an insanely violent death. <laughs> he fell to pieces and exploded. Bonk. Hopefully we get the slaughter of soul. If we manage to get bomber armor, I'm just going to use it to upgrade the katana. Since I do like the katana, actually. We're just a little bit stronger. Hmm. Poor cat. I blinked it out of existence. This thing is so slow, but it's so powerful. So I could go to the left here. Might as well do it for exploration reasons. Getting another Manticore is nice, but not needed. It's just kind of free damage, if you want to think of it that way. It's not, like, game-changing for me. It's not, like, this weapon amount of damage game-changing. So I could have gone left here earlier. What was over here? Oh, just a scarf. Oh, right, that's the Axis Super. I was trying to remember what it was, because we're not going to be using a lot of MP, so I might as well just try it every now and then. <laughs> now that's some silly damage, chat. Like, just we're just slapping Mana Core from existence right now. Nope. Mm -mm -mm. What a little bit of knowledge does for the playthrough. Kill him through the floor, don't mind me. So yeah, this will be a very different playthrough compared to what we suffered earlier. So we could go this way if we want to. Guess we'll try one more time to get some souls. I was hoping to get slaughter or something for more damage. We'll try one more time while we're here. I'm noticing I can't cancel into a soul with the axe. I was trying to do some fancy cancels. Unless I do, like, backdash into at into axe again. Maybe that'll work better. Kind of. That'll be, like, one, two, three? I guess that kind of works. I could get around the very slow nature of this thing, I think. Oh, canceled a little early there. Anyway, let's proceed further. Uh, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Double exclamation mark chat. You! 
Ah, you've come. Just as I predicted. Celia Fortner. You're kidding, right? You're telling me this punk's the Lord of Darkness? Huh. Judging matters merely on appearance? Tis, tis. Simpletons are so vexing. What'd you call me, Dimitri? Hm. I merely stated a fact. Dario, Dimitri, both of you, enough. Tch. There we go, there's the faces. Look at that face. Excuse their behavior. Welcome to our house, home to our church. You talk as if you were expecting me. You fear that you will imperil innocence for who you are and can become. Am I not correct? Yes. I fell for your ruse. <laughs> yeah, we just got so outpl outplayed. Why would you want to resurrect the Dark Lord? We do not desire the Dark Lord per se. For God to be perfectly good, there must be a being of perfect darkness. There you go, chat. Perfect darkness. Yeah, also sadly, if we get a slaughter, we could eventually upgrade to get a fast punching weapon. Which would be nice, which I forgot to mention. And if we do get slaughter, I'm gonna go back for zombie. Yeah, perfect my fist, exactly. Daria spray kind of looks like a red ape a little bit. That has nothing to do with me. If this world does not, if this world does need a perfect dark being, one should emerge. Isn't that how it works? Perhaps that is so, and perhaps it is not. What is true, however, is that the power of darkness steadily grows faint. The Lord of Darkness must be enthroned without fail, and not a moment too soon. I think what we're going to do, Chad, after we murder this boss, because let's be honest, this boss is about to get destroyed, um, we're going to try to get Slaughter to see if we could get Whip Knuckle. So Whip Knuckle requires Brass Knuckles into Zombies, uh, which will create Cestus, and we could upgrade Cestus with Slaughter to get Whip Knuckles. And... We might get it good? We'll see. I mean, I prefer Slaughter as a red soul. Because that means we can basically two-shot everything. That, but that doesn't mean... I heard enough already. Let's rip this puck apart right here and now. Have patience. He will try to stop me using whatever means. There is no need for haste. Huh? What are you saying? He's in our hands now. We could destroy him whenever, however we wish. Correct. This will also serve as a test for the both of you. I see. Wait a second. Test? What test? I need to hear about that. Are you incapable of thinking even a little? Look how happy he is, chat. He's smugging all over the game screen right now. There is but one Dark Lord, yet there are two candidates. You and I. Duh, I know that. You get this through your hollow skull. Whoever defeats this boy becomes chosen as the Lord of Darkness. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, okay. This'll make it fun. Next time I see you, punk, I'll burn you to ashes. I mean, we could just fight right now. <laughs> right, chat? Like, why don't they just triple team us? This, this game would be over so fast. I shall depart also. I see no significance in my presence here at this time. So those two are the Dark Lord candidates. Correct. They were born at the same time as Dracula's demise. They are inheritors of, Dr of Dracula's dark powers. That's no guarantee that they can become the Dark Lord. They can, by shattering Dracula's soul. But enough talking. If you wish to stop me, I should be waiting for you at the top. I may even change my mind if you survive my traps. We make no effort to stop her. Games need a better excuse that we could kill them anytime we want. Yeah, they kind of do. So yeah, chat, we're gonna go ahead and beat this boss. Um... I probably want a different soul. Let's put Skeleton on. I could just leave that on. I don't think it really matters.
Katana might be slightly better here. We'll see. I'm going to be doing a lot of crouching. We'll see how it goes. Speaking of which... Well, actually... Oh, that's right, I got rid of it. My bad. I was gonna say, I could use Axe Armor. This would speed up the fight significantly. I was holding Crouch, but the weapon animation is very slow. On the plus side, I can hit him while crouching. I'm gonna get a hit because it's slow. Not because I can't react, the weapon is just that slow. I guess I gotta wait for him to laser. Really? He stands up even- Oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Apparently he stands up if you're not crouching before then. So Axe is really, really slow. I mean, it made the fight go pretty quick. I didn't technically need to heal. But whatever. Unfortunate. Yeah, so apparently, chat, if you attack and then you crouch... See how he went back to standing? I guess I needed to dash cancel that to stop that from happening. It's kind of unfortunate. Now we learned a mechanic that is somewhat important to know. That for some reason, if you attack and are holding crouch, your character must stand. You can see it sometimes. Kind of annoying. If I'm already doing a crouch strike, he remains crouching. There we go, chat. The improvement. Let's just get rid of this. Rub the screen. Move the mouse in the corner. <laughs> Boss's greatest weakness, he can't look down. Yeah. So we're learning mechanics. What can I say? I was hoping by holding crouch, he would just crouch after the attack automatically, but he's like lingering for a frame, and that frame is getting me hit by laser. Unfortunate. I need to do something like this. Ooh, you can rapid fail. Ooh, you can kind of rapid fire that. Does that mean I could do something like... Is there a limit? It seems to stop me at two. The weapon is so slow, I'm having trouble figuring out the timing. Holy, speaking of figuring out the timing. Yeah, this weapon is definitely not the most fun to dash cancel with. Katana is much easier. I think there's something I can do. Question. Okay, it does hit backwards. I'm trying to disrespect him. So we need to get Slaughter. I'm gonna try one more time to get bomber armor. That was not the soul I thought I had. My bad. Come back to me, cat. Alright. Come on, give us one of these. I do kind of want it. <laughs> right, chat? I do actually kind of want that ability to potentially go into Whip Knuckle. There we go. I don't really want to fight Creature. I don't really care what Creature drops, to be honest. I'm gonna try a little bit to try to get this soul, because we could literally one-shot the enemy that gives it to us. It's not, like, the worst ever. You know what I mean, chat? Like, we're just fishing for it. I would like two. I'll settle with one. We might need to get a counter going, chat, of how many we don't get. Because I do want to see how... Because I think Whip Knuckle will let, will be more to my playstyle, where I just do rapid strikes. Also, if I time that right, apparently I could just land a strike on him. Hmm. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh, Bat Companion, you're so slow. I didn't even bother using you in the other fight. 
go for two chat. I mean, the fact that we're one-shotting this also speeds up the farm of this pretty significantly. Okay, we'll take that. I guess if I delay my strike, I can double hit. Oh, not in a good position. Almost. Too early. I don't think we're getting the bomber armor upgrade. You could say I tried, chat. You you all witness. I tried. I'm looking for one more soul because I'm going to get rid of this. The only thing we need now is zombie. So there was that one room that had a ton of zombies. I might be able to black cat for it. I don't need zombie for anything else. Come on, game. <laughs> Classic Dawn of Sorrow. I just need a second one and we'll go on. It's rarity is only two. I can only imagine what rarity four is like. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Move on. So let's go back to the main area. So we have our farming tool, but I'd like my casual travel tool. So we still need to get another axe armor at some point. And we're still missing the required souls. Actually, I forgot to check. Yeah, we never got a fist item, right? Did he even sell them? I don't remember. Let's find out. Perfect timing. Look what just arrived. Oh, another map. Sure, we'll buy the news. Why not? So we have an upgraded... <laughs> knife cost 12,000? <laughs> You're out of your mind. Could you imagine... You're like, hold on, guys, we're fighting the Lord of Evil, but I'm basically gonna have to make you take a second mortgage on the house, you know? Just a little, little money between friends. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> what a what a jerk. Anyway, let's, I could skip straight to the Cestus, but I'd prefer not to do that. On the plus side, I guess that means if I upgrade a Brass Knuckles into a Cestus, I make a lot of money. So if you want to grind money out that way, I guess that's one of the ways you could do it. So all we need now is a zombie soul. I guess we could try going for it. Oh wow, look at that cancel speed. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> That's more to my play speed, right Chad? I'm not used to going that slow. I think I talked about this in other games before, but I am really bad with slow weapons. I like fast. Not necessarily like trillion input fast, but yeah, I, I like to play more average speed than heavy weapons. <laughs> What's the point if I don't make a profit? Yeah, pretty much him in a nutshell. Was this the hallway with the zombies? It was. I mean, we have, the, we have literally the perfect... Oh, I forgot there was a... Look, the cat even found a secret room for us, chat. Cat is the best. I didn't even remember this was here. Damn, damn chat. I'm getting carried by cat. I mean, look at it go. Does that mean it's faster to reset like this? Hold on. New tech? Oh, hell yeah, chat. Cat resets. Don't, don't mind me. I mean, okay. Listen, if we got the tool that makes this easy, it's not too bad then. If I really want money, I could collect it as we go. I'm not going to collect a lot, but I'll collect some. Damn, that's so satisfying. Oops. I mean, technically I could also farm them to 6,000. I guess it's a race to see which happens first. Oh, double zombies. Hello. All right, well, that was easy. One more for the road, chat. That was that was satisfying. 
When you finally have the right tool for the job. I think we also got the cat summon last time we played. Another bat soul. Too bad bat is terrible. If bat attacked like five times more frequently, we would be fine. I don't really care about getting that enemy soul. I just want to move on. So I could get another axe armor. I probably do want it. I guess the question is just when do I farm it? But we have almost everything I want for the majority of the game. Like, sadly, we're d almost done with weapon synthesis. Hi, Selma. What can you tell me about that Celia woman? All I know is that she's the priestess of this cult. And the fact is she has the ability to open gates to the darkness. What can she do by opening those gates? Mainly summon monsters and demons. She also creates zones that draw energy from the darkness. We'll need magic seals to close those gates. I see. I help you with anything else. You can. We can't upgrade that yet. We have two zombie souls, so we might as well just get brass knuckles. Improved. So we saved ourselves like 5,000, by the way, chat. He wanted 6,000 for this as a reminder. I, did, I saved a ton of money in time. And now, since we have two slaughterers, we could get this. Whip Knuckle crafted. So I could get Hellbore for Whip Knuckle upgrades. So it's like a, it's a little more range than the other one. It's like the rhythm with it. You gotta be pretty quick. There we go. When you get it down, like it's very satisfying, but it's definitely something that's a little. It's like you don't press them at exactly the same time. There's like a small delay. So perfecting that small delay without adding a ton of time is important. Also, look how much damage we're doing. What absolute shenanigans. So we have the other weapon to one-shot the big enemies. And we have this for like every other fight in the game. Because let's be honest, at this damage level, almost everything that is weak gets one-shot anyway now. And it's fast. Although the Sphere guy is still a uh, MVP. There's not much I could do about him without switching weapons. Uh, do we have anything else? No, not really. There we go. So if we want to make some money, we could turn zombies into Cestuses and then Cestuses into uh, Whip Knuckles. I think that might be the way you get money. I think Jupiter Climb also mentioned that in his video. Shout out to Jupiter Climb. What only does eight in them? Are they resistant? I guess they are. Kind of annoying. Well, anyway, back to this thing. <laughs> right, chat? Resist this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, for those that didn't see it before, by the way, I'm going to show you the Slaughterer Soul. And why I was saying I wanted one earlier. It does almost as much damage as the Axe. So we can potentially cancel attacks out of it, if we're careful with it. So there'd be a couple times I might want to use it. But I think for now, Cat is the way. Oh. I forgot I needed to be pressed. That was a control issue. I forgot I needed to be holding in the button mm, to activate this. This is getting this. interesting. Okay. We'll leave it like here ish. There we go. We're protecting ourselves. Oh, that's rude. I didn't protect myself. I mean, something that improved intelligence. The cat would be one-shotting these enemies. So still just as annoying as I remember it. Cool. <laughs> like, just like... I gotta keep it steady without accidentally touching the stick. Yeah, needless to say, still not a fan of the touchscreen stuff. It's, it's a little better, but in some ways it's also kind of annoying. 
I'm just gonna leave it here and hold the button this time. Should be able to get through this. There we go. Move it. <laughs> move it to the upper right out of our way. Let's see. So we got a decent soul for damage. Started at madness. Okay. Go attack cat. Alright, so Attack Cat is strong enough to kill the Une. Good. We can one-shot the Skelorang with their current weapon, which is also good. We don't get to see what they get to do. Hmm. I'm gonna save here. Yep. Had a feeling. I was gonna say, we went through a long hallway. Castlevania usually gives you those saves. Like the little bad icon when it's saving in the upper right. Got a boomerang. Treant. Okay. Magic seal. Yeah, but you, you need oh, you need to teach me what the seal is. No 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 no. Teach it. What buttons? Yes. So it would be... Uh, I can kind of see it. I can kind of see it. I'll probably need to refresh myself when we get there later. That's like, boop, boop, boop. Hmm. Goodbye, Corpse Weed. Remember, chat, our bullet soul is student witch. Ooh, Mandragora is here? Oh, actually, hold on, chat. The fact we kill that instantly is such a relief. You have no idea. Is there one that's a little closer to a door? I think there's a better farm spot for this. Check some hallways for it. guest house. Okay. We need the uh, clown that's here eventually. Wow, it's strong enough to just one shot. That's very silly. We're gonna go back the way I came in a moment, because I do want to get the other soul. I just want to see what's in this hallway. Ah, oh, the axe armors. Okay, this is where they are. So this is the spawn, so we need to get a soul here before continuing. Sadly, we need to grind this out. I think one of these ceilings is breakable. Remember from our last playthrough? Alright, if I didn't have leather armor before, I now have it. Man, Cat even eats the projectiles. What a god. It's my favorite soul. <laughs> right, Chad? Just... just it, you get it so early. It just deals with everything in the early game. Just brain off. Hmm. Hopefully we get it soon. We're at the mercy of the game now. There's no reason to come back later and do this. Like, now that I know it's here, we have to do this. Because this is definitely faster than doing the other area. At least one good strike and double hit. Save some time. That, that feels more efficient. Throw the cat to guarantee the kill. Put, block some projectiles. A nice little rhythm going. Oops. Too far. Come on, axe armors. Oh, anti aired. What a god. Damn, still don't have it. I mean, I'll take the money. It'll just go towards mind ups and potions. There's another axe. I can sell that for cash as well.
Pokemon game. I'm trying so hard, chat. I even tried to optimize the farm a little more. Didn't walk forward, that's so sad. I mean, we're almost at 6,000 in gold, so if I really do want to buy an upgrade, I could just skip a soul, I guess, at this point. This is brutal. Come on. Looks nothing like the axe they throw. Looks the same to me. Unless you mean from other games. Just spinning so the handle looks big. There we go. Jeez, that took way too long, chat. I think I can unlock a shortcut. Might as well do that now. Oh, you. Oh, no. Not Skeletonape. No. Oh. Just chat and remember my struggle for those that were here in the last playthrough. How many times I tried to get Skeletonape to drop something and it just wouldn't. And it's so fast with the barrel, too. What do we even do? I'll go for a couple tries and then I'm moving on. This enemy is very annoying. I need this, by the way, because this is one of two ways in which I can get to... Oh! We actually got it this time. There we go. That was merciful. It's Rarity 3, and it we I think we killed like 50 or 60 of them and did not get it. So that's good. I need that to get to a secret area in the bottom left, in which I did not show up in the previous playthrough, because I tried getting Bone Arc, and it just would not give it to me. And then we also killed Skeleton Ape, and it did not give it to me. Alright, let's kill these things. Complain in the RNG will answer? Definitely. Yeah, sadly I don't remember what souls increase our intelligence. I think one of them might be Lilith. Aside from that, big question mark. I would like to get Mandragora, as that is a very good red. I like it a little more than Slaughter in some scenarios. Oh, we actually killed him from there? That's hilarious. I knew you were here. I remember that from the last time we played. I remember getting cheesed by jumping up thinking I'm gonna land on that platform and the game was like, nah, take it in the face. Didn't fall for it this time, game. I have evolved. Although I might want to go down here first to double check items. There is a room down here. It is a boss. I don't think it's anything we want to do yet. Ooh, that damage reduction is terrible. See, now he's facing the wrong way due to how I spawned. Double checkmate. <laughs> right, chat? Doubled. Welcome, Elf. Hope you're doing well. Such a strong combo. Ooh, a skeleton farmer OP. I killed the Mandragora, but we didn't get it. Yorick's also a pretty fun soul. I don't remember if we have to strike the head or not, but I'm gonna strike it. Nice try, Mimic. Alright, chat, wave your finger. I'm not falling for that. Speaking of not falling for that. Listen, chat, I remember they were in very annoying spots. Also, game please. Can't quite. I bait it. Yeah, there we go. What a fool. Where's your barrel now? Here we go. Doppelganger is huge. So now I can have my free roam set up. And then have my casual play set up. So I probably want to switch between this and with no call. I think that would make the most sense. Keep Scarf on. Um... I... 
probably still want the cat. Yeah, we don't we don't care about skeleton ape at the moment. Now I can switch between this and this. But I just want to beat him up real quick. We got Une. Okay. There is a lot of terribleness up there. <laughs> Give me a second. I want to see if we could get that Mandragora. I'll be very happy if we do. It's a very good alternative to fight most of the bosses in this game. And the fact that we one shot right now means that we could save a lot of time. Normally, farming that would be very annoying, but because we have the one shot, we're good. Uh, I can't reach that without double jump. Let's continue to explore. Honestly, in Donosaro, I'm I forget what our exact goal is. Like, what boss we should be looking for. Other than I knew Doppelganger was here. I know if we go to the Demon Guest House myself on that one. We'll be able to fight um, the Puppet Master, but I don't remember what the alternative is. Poor enemy, it's already dead. Yeah, the cat will help fish out things that are breakable for us. I wasn't sure if he would pop the barrel. I might have just misthrown it. Here, Yorick. That is so strong, chat. Ooh, that was almost really bad. There we go. There, oh, there's Gun. if you need to kill the skeleton heads or not, so I'm just gonna destroy them because I'm here. There, There's the almighty gun. Can't do anything about that yet, though. We'll deploy the attack cat. Thank you, attack cat. Did we manage to get corpse weed, which I don't think we got before? We managed to get mollusca. I don't even remember what this does. I'm be real with you. Does this do damage at least? Oh, that looked real goofy. Uh, why isn't it summoning? I is it bugged? Hello? Cool. So anyway, bu Bug Soul. Cool. Glad it didn't summon anything there. You all witnessed it. I just did it three times. It did nothing. Cool. So lost. You have to, like, hold it in or something. No, and it's just working now. I don't understand. You know what? I'm just gonna draw question marks on the board. Oh, this thing. Oh, I'm not even close to 777. I'm contemplating if I want to glitch through these or not. Listen, chat, we're going to throw our cat a couple more times and we'll move on. On your give us a soul. I'm gonna play some soccer. So th for those that don't know, Yorick does 10 times damage if you slide into it or do a dive kick into the head while using it. And that also is very good against bosses, but it's also hard to do. We'll go for, let's say three more kills to say that I honestly attempted to get it in our playthrough. Ooh, we're doing an extra damage with the swing. 
we are just one-shotting Yorick straight up now. It does speed up the farm a little bit. We'll do two more. One more. Sadly, it was not meant to be. So we could come back here when I get more money. If I pick up nothing but a 10 and three 100s, technically I can get it. So it is doable with where I'm at money-wise. Wow, I got zapped out of the strike. Unfortunate. Okay, where does this lead? So we ignored the center area, which I think we have to come back to later. I mean, if I have to do it now, it doesn't really matter. My other answer is the chapel. Interesting. Again, fortunately, we just one-shot everything. I'm more looking for a save. There we go. Does it matter where we go first? So we'll, we'll acknowledge I ignored a boss area for now. I could just go back to it now, in theory. I don't know what going there early would do for us. Oh, that's a 50? My bad, I thought that was... Not that. At least it's easy to fix the 50s. Hard to fix the ones. I can almost open the 777 door. I just gotta fix my ones. Alright, so we just need a hundred. Don't think I want to pick that one up. I forget what denomination that was. Just shan't remember. Is the copper 10? I, a gold for sure will put me where I need to be. But I doubt these things will drop it. Right, I'm just gonna check. Oh, it's a 10. Kind of annoying. That's fine. We could go up that way. We almost have everything we need. I might as well just kill the witch while we're doing this. So I just need... Three more ones and then a couple of tens and we're good. I think we could do this. Need two more blues. I think I want that because it's a 50, right? Yeah, okay, that'll save some time. The copper equals 10, blue equals 1. I could get that copper now. Now we just need two blue and a copper? I think I could do this. Then I just have to avoid picking up any more money. Now we just need a copper. Uh, we surprisingly have the money total. That did not take very long, at least. So let's see, chat. What is the reward for doing the 777 door? The one that I definitely did not do in our other playthrough, by the way. Um, Kill you. Kill you. Oh my gosh, I almost took money by accident. That would have been devastating. Big waste of time. Uh, Yorick, I'm just going to take the damage. Throw the barrel. Thank you. Can I get by you without hurting you? Okay, good enough. So I have 6777. Wow, we really are just waiting for it. There we go, chat. Reward is three sevens. Which does increase our intelligence, but it makes us take more damage. Um maybe. does make the cat a little better. Let's see, we're hitting for 9 currently. How much it hits for if we do this? 7. So it increases by 2 on something that's resistant to it. 
so I might as well do that. Uh, I think I need to do anything else. Yeah, luck in this game does not work, Halvisham. We mentioned earlier, unfortunately. It, like, technically exists, but it is pointless. Oh, I was hoping for a soul there. That would have been huge. Yeah, it's like, it at, It technically does something, but the amount that it affects it is, it might as well as not work. Things like Rare Ring and the other items do work. This luck itself is not worth taking. Yeah, I figured we probably just need defense when we're playing as the Whip Knuckle rather than damage. And then when I'm playing a big slow weapon, I could probably afford to have less defense. Oh well, I might as well just keep going. If I get a warp, I'll just go back at some point. Oh, bumped. Yeah, I don't really know what they were thinking with this game. There are a lot of questionable decisions. Oh boy, Chad, if we kill these, I think we get a luck bonus. Oh, right! I love useless stats. Oh, this area. Um, I can glitch this, right? Is it knife? No, uh, what was it? Is it katana? No. I know one of these glitches a chat. I just don't remember. Is it... This one? No, 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 no. You know what it is? I think it's, uh... I think I literally need Cestus. Or Whip Knuckle might work. Yeah, it might be Cestus. There's a weapon we can use to go over there. I forget which. There is a weapon special I can definitely use to activate that early if I want to. Oh, I switched weapons on the main one. That's annoying. We'll figure it out eventually. Oh boy, chat. We have Boomerang. Boomerang, that doesn't even return to us when we throw it. That's certainly a choice. I think if we do... Skeleton Ape, it improves its damage. Yeah, it makes it... Or at least it makes it go faster. Not super helpful at the moment. Oh, oops. Uh, blah. I confused myself on that one. There we go. We got through eventually. I mostly just want to unlock some uh, warps. Ooh, Hellbore is here. Oh, that's not how I thought he was going to shoot the fireball. He baited me. Hmm. I'm not going to lie, we're not one-shotting anymore, which is a little scary. <laughs> I'm like, how out of order am I at the moment? Yeah, the fact that it takes like two of these hits is kind of crazy to kill. Everything's back in Golem territory. Hmm. I don't remember the trick to... There we go. I guess that works. 2,000 in cash? Not bad. I'll take that early on. Traveler Cape. I'll take any kind of defense increase we could get right now. That is not a significant defense increase. I think I'm not going to bother. It's a little disappointing. Ah, uh, there's Guillotina. Oh, 
Oh, so that's not the right weapon. I can tell by the damage that wasn't correct. I didn't get the guillotine or soul. What a shame. We're just gonna explore room by room until we make a decision. Alright, so if I have the puppet from the other area, I could go through there. We don't have that yet. Go this way. Let's not go that way. If I have skeleton, I could go beyond this door. We have all the souls that we need. I have healing potions just to continue onwards if I need to. If nothing else, we can learn what's needed to go beyond here. Wow, this thing took three strikes from the axe? That's crazy. There we go. All that just to get halberd? Wow. Big oof, chat. Well, Donasaro sadly not giving you the weapons you need to actually progress. No surprise there. We at least one shot you. That's a good sign. I'm scared to jump over it because I don't really want to use a potion unless I really need to. <sighs> so disappointing, Chad. I guess I'll take Red Scarf, which is at least slightly better than the other item we had. We can put that in the uh, totally not a boomerang boomerang category. On the plus side, we could definitely just max out on potions whenever we need to. We picked up a lot of money. Downside, this area is kind of annoying to leave. I'll like jump over here. Go this way. Go this way. Go for one more guillotiner attempt, I guess. Although, downside, we whacked him off screen, so I have no idea where he is. Question mark. I don't think we killed him. That is just rude. That was just so rude how fast that was. Yeah, also, where is the save room? Wow, we went that. At th there is no save this entire passageway? I'm gonna eat a potion then. Annoying. <laughs> right, chat? It's like, wow, I think that's the first time we went through a whole corridor and there was literally nothing to heal us. Um. Actually, you know what? That's not what I wanted. I think by double throwing these, I might be able to get a better kill. Hmm. That's a bit disappointing to go all that way, and there's not even a healing... As a reminder, there's not even a healing area over here. Take the level up, though. So we would have had to have gone through this entire area without getting hit. I'm hoping that there's a healing area beyond the hallway to the right. We actually got Almeric Sniper. Summon an archer to support you. Interesting. Yeah, so sadly, I think last time we played, I think I had the Cestus, which I do not have currently since I upgraded. But I might as well pick one up later. Is this a save area? No. We're gonna play Is This a Save Room, chat, until I, until I win. Like, is this a save room? Also, that's not what I want. Rude. So let me get this straight. There is no save over here. There's no warp. I just need to have the thing to skip the game if I want to. Hmm. Might come back out. I might come back here out of spite later, chat. So 
So yeah, that whole hallway was basically dead. It didn't even it didn't even give the courtesy of a warp. I would have respected it if that area gave us a warp, because then at least we could come back here quicker. But like, look how far I walked to not get like a single shortcut. Like that's kind of insane. Donna Sorrow, please. <laughs> like not even like a quick exit back to here at least. Silliness. Uh, let's go through the boss room that I was avoiding earlier. We'll come back with Cestus and friends, I think. Still didn't get Madrigora. Sad. <clears throat> Last attempt at getting those. That's fine. There we go. Got another pork squeeze. That's fine. You know what? Let's just enter the... Oh, it won't let us go through. That makes sense. Oh, we don't have dive kick. That's right. That's the thing you have to unlock. I saw that we had slide, which is, I think, is something you normally unlock with the soul in the other games. I wasn't sure if we came with dive kick or not. That was the first time I actually went for it. Hmm. I still would like to unlock a shortcut at some point. Let's go upwards for now. So as soon as we get the puppet, we'll be able to take another shortcut. Since I now have the throw ability, that means I don't have to fight Bonark and get disappointed forever. I just threw a cat at him, chat. Listen. Love the cat. Slightly out of range. Um. Walk this. Walk this. Still didn't get the Mandragora. Damn. I don't think we went this way before. I kind of beat this. We did not. Got a floret though. We could potentially use those as upgrade components if I really want to, but again, we pretty much got what I wanted, which was Whip Knuckle for early damage and our other ability. Oh, that's scary. I guess this makes it a fast farm. Hold on, chat. We're gonna get. Wait, what even just hit me? Did I get cheese by lightning or something? What was that? I am getting cheesed by lightning. I don't think I could do that much faster. Unless I do something like this. Alright, that's like the fastest reset I could do. Come on, Mandragora. Here we go, chat. The grind begins yet again. If I accidentally cancel a Vista Soul, that's gonna make me so sad, chat. You have no idea. Come on, game. Canceled it too quickly. It's a little risky. I thought I had it there, but it was the stupid other enemy making sound effects. I guess I could do that to dodge the lightning. Holy, what is this drop rate? Game, please. What is it, like 1 in, one in like 20 or something? I was gonna say, if anybody has the actual, real, honest drop rates, please feel free to drop it in chat. I actually don't know what it is. Like, I'm killing it very quickly, at least, but... I think this is Donna Sorrow's issue summed up in one little little clip here. <laughs> Just, like, waiting forever. I would like to get the soul. Minus 200%, it feels like it. I feel like we're going into, like, red ring odds. <laughs> right, Chad? Like, like I, I feel like, you know, we're about to get, like, uh... Get our Ubers and a PSO before we see the soul. 
Let me let me be clear. I'm willing to burn health potions because I got nothing better to do with my money at this point. It literally has only one other purpose, and that is to buy Super Katana later. And then that'll be our, our last purchase in the shop, other than potions. Holy. Pazuzu took the soul. I mean, like, we're more likely to get the Pazuzu rare, I think, at this rate, than see the soul. Tanasaro, <sighs> please. This is so sad. I'm killing them so quickly, right, chat? Like, this is actually somewhat efficient. Just not, no reward at all. That is not a good feeling while playing a Castlevania. Trust me, when we play Portrait of Ruin, I am not farming any enemies for anything. I'm just going start to finish. We'll pick up items as we explore, that's about it. We'll also upgrade our weapons. Don't get me wrong, I am gonna level the sub weapons. We actually leveled before we saw the soul, that is so sad. Donna Sorrow, please. I don't need to be overleveled. Okay, this is like Bone Arc all over again. Holy. Maybe the damage number isn't actually a damage number. It's how many more tries I need before I see the soul. It just, it never decrements though. She's always 66 away, chat. You know, if only I farmed it 66 more times. Unreal. Now, we're gonna do a timer check. It is now, let's say, 9.37 at my time. I'm gonna go until it hits 9.40. And then you can witness my RNG luck in this game. There we go. See, I threatened it. I threatened it, and we finally got it. 2.34% drop rate? It is... atrocious. Anyway, let's use it. Yeah, you can see that damage. Bonkers. Bonkers. Welcome, Promethean. I hope you're doing well. The damage is something else. Is that one shot? Yeah, it does. I forgot. It, it still goes up even if I'm holding a direction. Aren't you just take the wheel? Pretty much. Sorry, Moleska. Your very glitched nonsense ability. I like how I just refuse to summon. <laughs> just like, it's like, no. Not today. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do a quick little save, Chad. I might use the rewind feature here on the save to save myself a, a, a walking back to the save point. I'll think about it in earnest, but I doubt I can do it quick enough to test it. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna go buy something, because I want to skip the game slightly. <laughs> I'm vaguely interested in breaking the game. We'll leave one of those special doors for what... Or if I get Succubus, might be, might be the statement. I remember saying we were going to do the Succubus glitch, I was going to learn how to do it, and then I was like, oh wait, that requires getting a soul and not a sorrow, I don't know if that's going to happen. Yeah, I think in rooms like that, it's better just to use the cat. Damn, cat is so strong. Alright, if I buy the Cestus, how bad is it? Rather than give up a soul... Hey, Soma. Yeah? That old guy. What's his name? You know. You mean Julius? Yeah, yeah, Julius. Seems to come around to see Yoko a lot. Do you think? Of course, he comes around. Yoko's Julius's contact. Oh, uh, you're right. Letting my mind get the better of me. Man, gotta snap out of it. Anyway, how can I help you today? I'm gonna buy back my potion. Step one. Um... Um... He was, like, supercharging us for it, right? Or something stupid? I'm gonna see if I can just upgrade Assess this real quick. I think I have the souls for it. I think I got two zombie souls, right? 
This should save me some time. Hi, Soma. Do you know anything about a man named Dario? Dario Bossy. He's the ability to create fires. He's been implicated in countless inexplicable fires. He's a wicked criminal who's wanted all around the globe. Welcome, Nate. Hope you're doing well. I see. That's all I know. Do you need anything else? Uh, I would like to... I don't have that yet. I do have another zombie soul. Might as well just make it. If nothing else, this is just getting cash. I basically pay 200 and just get extra cash. I think that's fine. Alright, so we're gonna test something real quick. Is it this thing, the thing that I was thinking of? No. But it has the ability that I'm thinking of. We could sell that later. Hmm. There's definitely a weapon we can use to skip. Ma oh, maybe it's the floret. No. I swear, chat, one of these weapons lets me skip. I just don't know which one. I don't. Maybe we just don't have it yet. I don't think it's claymore. We know it's not short knife or short sword or knife. Hmm. What is boomerang special, by the way? Oh, just lame. I was hoping it would at least, like, triple or quadruple something. So that's fine. We can still use the other thing as needed. Hmm. Because we could very easily check our abilities by going to the save room. I think I just don't have the weapon. So if nothing else, we turned a cheap brass knuckle into a Cestus, which we could use to get cash back. The slide could do things, potentially. The axe special is very expensive. Sadly, I don't think we can use it to clip upwards. I know that has a use in Portrait of Ruin, but I don't think it has a use in this game. To, like, skip things, I mean. Um, hmm. So we'll just try different weapons as we come across them, and hopefully we'll find it. We still got time. So anyway, after all that, we didn't unlock another warp, which kind of blows, not gonna lie. If chat also happens to remember which weapon special does the one where you teleport to one side of the room, let me know. We did it on the first playthrough. Chat can probably even literally open my other playthrough. I just don't remember what the weapon was. I thought it was Cestus. It could have been that in Aria or something, but not in this game. Yeah, I remember we disrespected the playthrough order. For now, I'll go into the demon guest house because I need to get items anyway. We're going to be a while. thinking it's the guitar. Possibly. I thought it was a, a knife type, so it wouldn't surprise me. We can't go in the middle until much later in the game. We can't go to the other side yet. Oh, can we actually not make that? Interesting. And I want to try one thing since we're over this way. I stood up too quickly. Oh, maybe it's the cut all. You're right. No, no, no. It's definitely the cut all. Thank you. All right, last chance at work soul. Rip work soul. Also, that's just rude. Oh, interesting. You can't... 
I forgot that was also a thing. I thought we'd be able to jump down there because I actually wanted to get something that was there. That is kind of annoying, actually. So we don't have double jump. Where can I go then? There's like the long passageway to the bottom. That whole area down there requires eventually puppet. We went out of order before to get that. I'm just gonna take the damage because I don't care. I'm thinking. There was an upper path we saw going to the guns. We can't go this way. I thought we could jump up that platform. I didn't realize we couldn't. I should have remembered that. Because I was just going to go fight the uh, Puppet Master. So unless I have the ability to bonk upwards, which maybe I could in theory. Although it looks like we go downwards when we're struck. Unless there's a way to trick it. No, it looks like we always go downwards. Yeah, if we had Dive Kick, we could make this for sure. See, we're, like, just a little shy. Hmm. Yeah, we're not really close enough to bonk onto that, sadly. There's one other path... No, that leads to the boss. Hmm. There's one passageway below that I didn't go to. I could go back to that one if I need to. I'd prefer not to. I'm gonna double check one room before we go further. There is no way I could bonk or do something out of order in this room, right? Yeah, we would need like a little little boost. Okay, that's all I wanted to check. Hmm. Thinking. That's such a rude spawn. Oh, that actually breaks the barrel. Good to know. Hmm. I hate how fast that enemy throws it. It's like you're barely on screen, he's just aiming where you're gonna be. The jerk. Yeah, I don't think we can possibly go to the gun area yet. Touches. Yeah, see, it's up there. Not the doppelganger. We can't go to the right. It's without the cutoff. Hmm. I'm gonna touch this save, and then I'm gonna look up something real quick. I mean, if we get a mini double, that would also be nice, but I doubt it'll happen on our way to this save. Data has been saved. Yeah, I think we can get that in the demon guest house. It's just how do we... How do we advance, is the question. Listen to the music briefly. So the problem is... Okay, so we could get the cuddle, I think, from the demon guest house, if I remember correctly. Cause it, I remember it was before we needed to come here. Yeah. But we can't do anything there is the problem. I could go downwards and check one of the other hallways that I missed earlier. That's like the only other place we could go to at the moment, I think. That was annoying. I'm gonna bop Yurik real quick here. Yeah, it's a shame I can't just go through here. Also, I don't know what they were thinking without a lack of warps. Or why they put a lack of warps in here. Because I would have loved if there had been a warp, like, right at the other end of this hallway. Like, when we enter into the other area near the save room to the right. But without a save, I gotta do, like, the long trek backwards. It's kind of annoying. 
Not that it's right course speed. Hmm. Okay. I guess in that case, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, no Yorick. I tried, Chad. I tried getting the Yorick again. Yeah, it does give me another chance to get the souls I was looking for, but it's not giving it to me, sadly. I know, if, if we got Yorick there, I would have been happy. Don't get me wrong. I would have been slide kicking all over the place. Got everything we needed there, so I guess I'll go back downwards for now. Yeah, we'll go get the cut arm later. Oh. Oh, we're gonna kill it. My bad. The Sincada is the alternative. Thank you. Couldn't remember what it was. I don't know if he sells it currently, though. That's the question. Because there are items that are locked behind other ones. Yeah, we don't have any 32k Prometheans. That's the problem. But So that's not helpful, sadly. The highest we have right now is 16,000, so it's not unlocked yet. So I think by the time we do the Demon Guest House, we should be good. So this should lead to the boss room that we can't do anything in, right? Oh, I could have been killing this for this. That's fine. Oh, it's the other end of this room. That makes sense. Yeah, nothing we could do there. We already went here. I liked our reset a little better, honestly. Right, so that answers what was on that side of the room, just to make sure there wasn't another path downwards. So I think with that, we're going to take the path back here. I guess I could have taken the warp to go to the other place, I guess. We'll do the casual, the casual walk. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did not purchase the item when we did it in the other playthrough, because I very rarely purchase anything from the store other than healing items. So I'm pretty sure it was Demon Guest House, random, or fixed drop. The one last chance at souls. Anything you want to give me to make my life easier? No? Fine. Classic Dawn of Sorrow. All right, Chad, just shake your head. So I think I can't go to the left, but can I go to the right here is the question. I think I can. Or if not, we get another chance at bomber armor. This is how I view it. What stopped me? Was this the puppet room I couldn't get through? Oh, it was one of these rooms I couldn't get through. Hmm. So if we did have the cuddle, like slash Qatar, depending on I guess what version you're playing, uh, we could also get that item. So keep that in mind. That only leaves a couple areas that I can physically go to. Unless I'm just missing something on the map. I feel like I went down every corridor at this point. If we had double jump, I think I could go to the upper portion of the main area, but I don't think I could go there yet. Because I think this is where the Umanus was, right? I just want to make sure I'm remembering what this room was. Yeah, it was. This is another room I can't do anything in, but I could also get that out of order. Um, hmm. Question mark. What am I missing? There's that long hallway above me. I guess if it leads to a boss fight, maybe I would get something from it. So, like, either way, I have to come back through this way. Potentially go there. 
Now, I'd rather go this way just to get axe armors, because I don't need the other enemy souls at this point. I mean, stronger cat soul? Okay. Uh, kind of worth it, I guess. Assuming it's one of the ones that upgrades per soul, that's worth it. And again, this game doesn't have, like, a consistent way of how souls work. Some are, like, you need X for it to do anything. Which is a bit unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna go back up this way. Oh, that enemy to get out of my face. Stop off, get some healing. And once we do the demon house, which is where I was looking to go, since I knew I need that in order to get Puppet, and that opens up a lot of the game, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. then we'll go break the sequence of the game. I've had enough of doing things the, the, the way it wants us to do it. So what stopped us from going this way? Ah, uh, it was this. That answers that question. There we go. Look at me, I'm drawing. Not quite what I wanted to do, but that's fine. Yeah, kind of a shame I couldn't go any other way, or at least get a warp that way. But what is our reward for coming over here? Let's find out, chat. Combat knife. No. Kind of not worth it. Okay, now I have a genuine question. Where did I not go? <laughs> I, I'm i now confused. Is there something I could have done in the first area? That's the only area I haven't been back to. So sadly, that drop is not that interesting. I, I can't... Okay, so... I guess since I... Oh, I can't use the cursor since it will go off the screen. So I don't think I could go anywhere on the right side, right? Because the far right hallway I can't go into without the knife. It's not intended order. There is nothing that I could do in any of the hallways I went down there because I need the puppet in order to progress through one of the hallways. So that's locked. The upper path was also blocked, I believe. I don't remember what stopped us from taking that upper path. I also wish I could make the map the main screen. Hmm. So that, that's the only thing I could think of. Like, I could go back here, but there's nothing for us to do here, to my knowledge. So I'm pretty sure I need double jump to go through that first hallway. Hmm. We can't go in the hallway that's below us that's blacked out because we don't have paranoia. We went downward into the secret room, so there's nothing to do there. I guess I could check the room above us. Otherwise, I have to take that long trek to the room in the upper right. Because that, that honestly is the only place I could think of that maybe there's a reason I didn't go there and I just forgot. I was looking for something at the time. Yeah, because there's nothing we could really do over here. I think it's faster to go this way. Just to check that we need a double jump. You're doing well, remote battery. Man, oh man, chat, would I have loved a warp. I would have very much liked the warp on that right side of the map. Because we went through every possible room, I'm pretty sure, outside of, like, hidden ones. Uh, we're gonna double-check this area real quick. I don't think we'll get a soul or anything, but we could see if we could get an item. Pop that real quick. Because I can't go to the guest house, which is where I thought I could do. 
Yeah, we don't have a way of going up here. This hasn't changed. Okay, I mean, I guess I'll walk back to that upper right. I don't remember what stopped us, though. I'm just looking to see if there's any, like, weird... This is where I wish I could zoom in on the game a little bit, because even for me, it's kind of tiny. I'm like, am I just missing some, like, arbitrary hallway? Because I feel like that would make more sense than doing what I'm about to do. We'll showcase the shop. I might as well as go purchase potions since we got a million in cash. We can't do anything with the UMAs. I'm pretty sure there's nothing we could do down at the bottom without shortcutting. Sizzy got, got some good stuff in, but he's a liar. Yeah, see, it's showcasing us things that I can't reach. I can't go underwater, or else I could go through the middle passageway, because we tried going down there. That room that... See where the gray tiles are roughly in the middle that just opened up down there? We can't go there because we don't have do the ability to dive underwater. So either of those would allow progress. Main gosh. <laughs> we could buy the handgun if we want to. It's kind of funny. Nothing of interest. Hmm. Yeah, see if we- oh, so here's what would progress us. Double jump. Up it. Pretty much that's it. Or, or something that lets me sequence break. <laughs> in that order. In that exact order. Yeah, well, actually, that's not a bad way to zoom in. So we couldn't go to the hallway to the right there, because that's where the uh, Mandragoras were into the underwater section. And when we went to the opposite side, that's where the lone uh, York was. I tried going to the upper right room. That's like right and up of the warp that's highlighted right now. But I couldn't go there because that requires coming in through the ceiling. And the only way to get to that area was a double jump because we just looked at that earlier. So... I don't see what I'm missing other than going to the upper right. I'm assuming I have to go to the upper right. So we'll take this warp regardless. If this is not the answer, I'm officially out of options and I don't know what the game wants. <laughs> and then I would prefer to sequence break. I'm like, don't make me don't make me look up how to do zips mid playthrough. So yeah, we'll go this way to showcase what I was talking about. Unfortunately, I can't just go right here, because that would make life too easy. So sadly there's a boss room there that I can't do anything about. We did unfortunately at least get skeleton ape. So I could ignore any kind of mispathing in this game by saying we were just getting souls. Because honestly, we did try to get some souls, and we got a couple. That's very rude. But yeah, sadly we can't do anything over here. Life would be so easy if I could just go over there right now. Damage boost. Well, if you swap weapons, you make it disappear. That's funny. Yeah, sadly, we also can't go up there, which would save some time. Oh, I almost thought I, th almost thought I got another Madragora. That would have been kind of funny to me. Yeah, so there's only one path that I see. I was hoping there was a bit more we could explore, but maybe the game is just that linear initially. It felt like the world opened to us, but it was like, no, thou does not have the movement needed. So yeah, double jump, puppet throw, at all. Any of these I could use to sequence break, or at least go somewhat the intended way. Ooh, you take more than one hit to kill. Not great. Ooh, the cat does enough damage to one-shot them. That's actually huge. Who will eat food that is normally unpalatable? That's good. So if we pick up any more rotten meats, we can heal with that. Which I think I tried showing off for the other playthrough. And then it took like an eon for this to happen. Why did I not go- Oh, this enemy, that's right. 
Okay, at least we have something to kill him now. So this has to be where we have to go. I don't see anywhere else we could go. Oh, you. I remember Valkyrie. It, they technically drop a good soul, but the odds of us getting it are pretty low. Okay, nothing to do over here. <laughs> the, the actual one shot is real. And the more we level, the more damage we do. Nibelung Valesti! Exactly. Summon Valkyrie. The belt of some sort over there. Was there like a warp? Oh, there's the boss. Was there like a warp up here? So I guess we're fighting Dimitri, I guess based off the position of where this is. This has to be a save, right? Okay, we've made progress. Yeah, Valkyrie drop rate is atrocious. We're, we are not farming that for sure. I knew specifically it was bad, but I wasn't sure how bad it was. Joke's on you. Doomstone takes extra damage from our weapon. And we'll acknowledge the boss we need to fight is over there. So if we have Puppet, we can also go this way. Anti-Venom. They're all, like, above me and in annoying places to hit. What? Axe, please. What was that hitbox? <laughs> I swear that graphic went through the enemy. I swear. There we go. So I could go get that now if I want to. I guess I should. Oh, we're, we're not. I'll try one more time. I'll do it a little slower. Oh, I can't slide off and then do it. That would have been fancy. Um, Maybe I can't get it. We'll move on. I don't really need it. I was just curious. I could definitely get it with Puppet. That's why it's not worth spending a lot of time getting. Oh, actually, speaking of which... <laughs> I got something for uh, our soul-copying friend. Huh? Yeah, for some reason I thought there was another boss between us and Dimitri. I guess not. There we go. He could he could use that giant kill ability. But I got something better that I think he'll enjoy copying. Oh, excuse me for that rather uncouth scene. You're one of the Dark Lord candidates. I am Dimitri Belanov. You were fighting a demon. Does that mean you betrayed Celia? You've drawn the wrong conclusion. This is merely a ritual to gain power. <laughs> he did not last long. He's showing off his strength, allegedly. A ritual? You witnessed it, yes. Unless you're as dim as Dario, you should have discerned my ability. So that's what it is. The ability to copy magic attacks. Ah, oh, how observant of you. Now, since there's no one else to disrupt us, hold it. I don't have any reason to fight you. Do you have any reason for going along with Celia's scheme? None whatsoever. Well then. However, I have this power. Wish to know the meaning of it. Its significance. Is that not a natural desire? And for that, you want to become the Dark Lord? Is that so wrong? Finding my power will finally provide me with answers. You better provide me a warp after I'm done with this boss, right chat? Like, how did we get so deep in the side of the castle and not get a warp? That's crazy. Let us begin. Anyway, chat, uh, very, very epic boss battle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So epic, chat. Take notes. <laughs> anyway, boss, boss battle's over. Anyway, he got cheesed. <laughs> he just got straight up cheese. Listen, he had this giant death blast. I'm like, nah, get out of here. It's over. <laughs> you beat me like I was nothing. I mean, it is true. It is true. You, you didn't even hit me. I won't take your life. Just give up. You dare pity me? This pity is a weakness you'll be sorry for soon enough. Oh, the, I forgot. That is quite a face, by the way, chat. Gua! What? Dead? That can't be. There goes the soul. Ugh. What was that? Did I gain dominance over a human soul? No, I gained no power. But what was that aura? Anyway, he's dead. Moving on. Give us a warp. Give us a warp, right, chat? Where's my warp? Maybe get that. With Puppet, I definitely can. Another boss door again. Oh, maybe this is, uh... Oh, we fight both the bosses back to back? This is Dario, right? That's like, ba 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 Something like that. Oh, no, it's not. It's, uh... The... Black feathered boss that was in Soden, whatever that boss's name was. Uh, I think I'm ready to just explode this boss, though, to be honest with you. Let's get rid of Skeleton and just put Madrigora on. Malthus. Oh, I thought he was going to die already. I'm surprised it's actually still alive. There we go. There's our double jump. Now we can do things. There we go. World unlocked. And now I can dive kick. We don't need a blazer skeleton or whatever for it. Pretty sure I could get this. Can I just do it from the tip of this platform? Almost. There we go. Hoop earring it just gives in. Oh, not worth. Hello, Quetzalcoatl that I didn't fight earlier. Just surprise Quetzalcoatl, Chan. I could possibly make that face an emote. It is quite memorable. Okay, so now I could go to the double guest house, and from there I could break the game. I can also go back to the beginning of the game and go get some items. But I think what we'll do is we'll go to the demon guest house first. I can also take that little shortcut to go in the middle area, which hopefully will give us a warp. But if it doesn't, we'll still at least get handgun and some other items. Um. <laughs> just, just explodes her. Let's get this. Power bell. That could be a big upgrade for us. Lose defense but gain damage. Hmm. Maybe later. When we have slightly better armor, I'll consider it. Oh, that floor looked a little funny to me. I was wondering if we could go through, and then I looked at the map, and I'm like, no. You know what? They actually take more damage than I thought, but I guess they're weak to the Whip Knuckle. Thank you, Whip Knuckle. That saves some time. But sadly, we gotta do the long walk of shame here. Since there seems to be no warps anywhere.
Hey, that reminds me. For the this one, I want the student witch for fast kills. There we go. I love that one punch does kill them, though. That is satisfying. Oh, speaking of which, let's go get that item. So now we have the ability to actually use York in a somewhat reasonable manner. So hopefully we pick him up. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up first. We eventually... <laughs> we get one more chance at Yorick, I guess. Let's see if we get rewarded. Where did Yorick go? He's trolling. Oh yeah, he's trolling. So we're going to go back up this way. But this time we have the ability to go up to that other platform. It doesn't result in anything too crazy. I think it just gives us gun, but I figured we might as well just go there. Yeah, there you go, Skeleton Ape. I, I knew where your barrel was. Done with you. Get some quick cancels there. Yeah, I am sad that you can't just infinitely chain. You have to do, like, little... Little crouches. And if you do it too quickly, it doesn't let you do it. Oh, did it too high up in the air. So sad. Yeah, I kind of like with Knuckle as a weapon. There we go. Now we could go up here. I don't think I've ever gotten the bird before, so I could not tell you if it was any good or not. Elfin Robe is a really big increase. Look at that, chat. We get almost, what is that, 8 intelligence with a minor defense increase? Like, yes. With our current playstyle, absolutely. Worth. So I think that was worth grabbing, because that's a pretty significant damage increase for us. Actually, the reduced damage mattered there. That's so annoying. Stupid reduced damage. There's a difference between killing in three hits and killing in, uh, like, seven. Kill you instantly. All that just for a save point? That's not even a warp? Okay, we'll just keep going. I mean, I know the gun is to the right. We might as well get the blam blam. Chat loves the blam blam. Oh. There's a... There's a boss. Okay. Not where I thought we were going, but that's fine. Ah, oh, it is Dario. I wish I knew the minip for this boss. I actually don't know how to do the minip. Maybe one day I'll look up how to do it. Here at last, you thought you'd get, a go get away with what you did, punk. Huh? Dimitri, I'm talking about Dimitri. I didn't mean to kill your friend. I didn't finish. Huh? What are you saying? Wanted to pummel that uppity jerk myself. Doesn't your friend's death mean anything to you? Him? Ha! Huh. You gotta be joking. Well, let's get on with this already. I think when it become the Dark Lord anyway. Why? Look at this power! Yeah, there's a way you can get his columns to basically not target correctly. I think you have to cross them up, and it confuses him, but you have to do it in, like, a very specific way. Can you imagine how crazy they'll be with even more power? You're insane. You yap way too much. Come on, punk. I'll roast you to a cinder. Wait, you can dash cancel that? That's sick. I think I see how I might have to do it. Wow. Oops. 
I'm surprised he's still alive, to be honest with you. Oh, so that's how I would have been able to do it. Okay. So I think I gotta bait the first one, and then I can make the second one with. I think I understand. Though I'm, again, still surprised he's alive, to be honest with you. There we go. You could give up trying to become the Dark Lord. So I think what I was supposed to do was, when the first one appears, it needs to be, like, if he's facing to the right, he needs to put it on his right. Then if I make it go left, I think I could jump right again, and he it causes him to miss due to how he places it, I think is how it works. I'm not sure if I need to cross him up a second time. I think I have to cross him up once. I don't think I have to cross him up twice. But yeah. I guess I could technically go back and practice this boss at some point to learn it. But there's there's definitely like a set distance the pillars are from each other. And it feels like he does like one that is close, one that is far, and one that's kind of in between. But I can make that in between one miss him. Do you know what I mean? He unfortunately only did the attack twice, which doesn't give me a lot of opportunities to experiment. Especially given that I wasn't expecting the first one. A punk like you, not walking away from this. Dario, enough. Celia, don't try to stop me. A man's got his pride. I know that, but I'm not prepared to lose the last candidate. We'll pull back for now. I have another plan. Raw! I underestimated you. But, and then there's double space there for some reason, this game isn't over yet. I shall be waiting on the uppermost floor. Come if you dare. <laughs> so rudely we got interrupted on our journey to Gun. I thought this was a little higher up in the castle. So we're basically gonna go get the gun. And then I could backtrack to the beginning as soon as we find a warp. But ulti ultimately, we need to make our way to the demon guest house, because I want Puppet, and or I want Cuddle. But I might as well get Puppet since I'm here. Snake, it's not over yet. Exactly. Yeah, you can see how strong Mandragora is. It was doing like 100 plus damage. Like, it's just completely bonkers right now. But like, these kinds of souls are definitely worth farming for. Another one where I need the cuddle. How annoying. So many paths blocked by that stupid thing. I mean, you're, you're not intended to activate it that way, but that's how I'm going to activate it this way. It should still lead to Demon Guest House, right? Yeah, it does. There we go. I remembered where the secret was. Can't go there yet, though. I also found it weird in this game that it takes forever to get movement speed increase. Like, they put Black Panther, like, literally in the final dungeon, just a few rooms before the final boss. Like, you, you couldn't give it to us, like, anywhere before that point. Oh, I got cutscened. Soma! That's also a face. Huh? I told you not to get involved, didn't I? Hey, Ricardo, what are you doing here? I thought that you were protecting Mina. Mina is fine. My colleagues are providing protection. Besides, keeping you under observation gets priority. You're still treating me as if I were the Dark Lord. Haven't you seen enough? I need you to understand. You're considered to be extremely dangerous. But you're here now, so let's use that to our advantage. That is under my watch. I could allow you to help us a bit, I suppose. Besides, we can't just allow this cult to carry on this way. Thanks, I appreciate it. Also, Mina entrusted me with this. It's for you. Mina's talisman. What? A letter? And an amulet? <laughs> Maybe I'll need this for the true ending. Dear Soma, if you're reading this, you've probably gone after that cult. I had a feeling you would dis- You would dis- oh, excuse me. I had a feeling you would when you disappeared after that incident. I know that you worry about me, Soma. I worry just a, as much about you, too. I won't ask you to come back right away because you're way too stubborn. But please promise me that whatever happens, you won't forget who you are. Also, I missed throw me a bone there earlier from Remote Battery. Sorry for not calling that out. That is funny. We did we did throw many, many bones at poor uh, 
poor Dimitri. Oh, and don't forget about the amulet. I'm sure it'll come in handy. A true ending. I'll be praying for you. Always, Mina. Mina. Soma. Brief me on the situation. What have you discovered? Uh, sure. Scribe, but I learned so far to Ericado. Understood. The fact that Celia mentioned a plan doesn't sound good. The only thing I should think about is... Oh, the only thing I should think about is to reach that top floor she mentioned. Fine, you do that. In the meantime, I'll try to track tech... down Dario's whereabouts. Question. No. I'm wondering if there was a secret there. So we're coming into, like, the demon room, right? Isn't there a demon here? Like, right around here? Yeah, or devil, I mean. Alright, so I could go get the best soul in the game. I guess. <laughs> right, chat? I guess. Uh, specifically for this farm, I'm gonna use Madragora. That did not one-shot him. Interesting. Do that, though. Too early. So for those that don't know, it's a soul where I can exchange my health in order to basically do double damage. And if I'm good at the game, everything dies really quickly. I'm not going to use it, like, all the time, but it'll help on boss fights. This is also one of those souls we should probably farm for it. Slightly too early. Persephone, I think, also gives us a healing soul. Yeah. Promethean, none of the drop rates in this game are good. Spoilers, they're all trash garbage. I'm sorry. They are just, like, literally... I think one of the better soul rates is, like, 1 in 8. But then it's like there's one enemy in the room for it, so it takes forever anyway. It's so obnoxious. I think that's Black Panther. This thing is very silly. I wish that one shot. Maybe the int up actually matters here. Does that allow for a one shot? No. Uh, we didn't hit a damage threshold, we just go backwards. Um, I think I just care about defense more than anything else at the moment. I don't really need to do one more damage with melee swings. Damn, too early. It takes a very long time for it to become active, I'm not gonna lie. We also have to farm one more enemy, and that one's actually required. This one is purely optional. We have to kill the clown, whatever the clown is called. We need it for the other thing. Okay, we got it. Enter a pack with the devil to sharply raise strength. I don't want to use it yet. I think there's a clown at the top end of this room. So, just to showcase, we were here before. It's another room that requires puppet. I like that they put a puppet there. They're like, listen... I know you're going to try to do double jump shenanigans, but it's just not going to let you through. It looks like it should, but we need the puppet. Hmm. So we have devil to do insano damage. What a save point, but no warp still. So we will eventually, when we get a warp, go back to the entrance take the items that are there. And that is Lilith. I think she will give us intelligence, but this is not a great room to farm her in. Given how strong Mandragora is right now, it might actually be worth getting something that boosts in. I'm still gonna try to kill a couple of these, just to say we did it. Oh, she was still in the dodge animation, that sucked. So that's the thing that we need for the Yeti, by the way. Because of course, how else are you going to get the snowman other than using curry? 
Duh, that's obvious. Right, chat? I mean, I guess I could collect the hearts each time just to get MP. Or at least get that hard. Oh, Mandragora. I'm so glad we farmed you. You have no idea, chat. Like, right now I want this over Cat. Because we have a lot of vertical climbs to do. That was actually pretty quick. Like, that was almost like a reasonable grind. Like, <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. We had like a normal grind at dawn? That doesn't sound right. Ooh, we got coffee, I think? Oh, tea, never mind. Similar graphics. We got another. This time we got coffee. Yeah, we're using Mandragora to just blow everything up. Yeah, that was definitely a quick 3%. I agree. I was expecting that to take a while. Ooh. Killer doll. What, what was that hitbox? Game, please. Just walked right through my weapon chat. You all saw that. Shake your head. Isn't there something you could do in one of these bedrooms? Hmm. Unfortunate. We'll go back for secrets, I think, later in a, a different session. Oh, speaking of enemy, we have to kill a lot of. Killer Clown. We need his soul to progress. I don't have the way to shortcut kill him yet. I'm going to wait a little bit, but we need it in order to beat the game. With Mandragora and that int boost, I'm not gonna lie, our damage is actually pretty good for the first time in a while. We might get it just doing this hallway, to be honest. Other place where we need Puppet. Where did I miss? I can't go up. Oh, I could go to the right. Let's go to the right. Take that heart. Oops. I went to go use the soul and didn't have enough. So sad. That curse really messed us up. Oh. I realized there was a devil in this room. Not that it really matters anymore, I guess. Unless I want to get double devils. Yeah, that earlier curse really messed me up. I probably should have just reset in the room just to save it. We haven't done a reset in a while, but I could have spent it there to save some time. Because now I can't kill as quickly. Okay, still can't get the Lilith. So where have I not gone? I could go to the left. I could go to the right of this other place. Why could I not go down here? I'm going to check real quick. If nothing else, I'm going to go get my MP up. Doesn't really matter. Either way, I'm gonna go this way. And please, there we go. What stopped me from going this way? Nothing. Okay. Oh, this is the hallway with all of them, right? Like three or four of them. Oh no, not this room. Never mind. Thinking of something else. I mean, we're getting our hearts back. So maybe I don't need to go back and restore it. <laughs> oh boy. Well, <sighs> big sigh, chat. Let's see. So I could go here and just exit. So by the way, I could technically leave right now, just so that you're aware. This is a valid solution, but the problem is I want to, I think, do something else. Can I do something like this to get to more of the rooms? I think this is valid. I think? Nothing else I want to check what these rooms have. I 
Yeah, like the the fact that it's like a blank tile is really confusing. Uh, there's nothing in the seven. That's unfortunate. So I could technically do this to go wherever I want, which does not help with the clearing of the puzzle. One more in, but lose defense. Uh, that's not worth it. Downside, you you teleport on the mini map where the room is, but that doesn't necessarily teach you the way out. Like, see how 15's in the corner here? So I think this is the solution. We do want to check out the other doorways at some point. And we missed a couple of rooms. We can count which rooms we don't have at least. That's a nice thing, I guess. Damn, still didn't get it. You gotta be real... Oh, that's rude. You gotta be real close to a boss. Oh, the piano room. There we go, Chad. We did it. Oh, I almost had it. There you go. I don't know how the game intended you to do that, but that's how I did it, chat. Well, just nod our head. I'm like, I did a solution. I don't know if that's what it wanted me to do. But hey, we did it, I guess. I think there's enemies in the ice blocks. I've basically just ignored them. The war fatigues makes us stronger. But I don't think they're as good as Elfin Robe, to be honest. Like, maybe they wanted you to punch, like, one at a time like that. Maybe that's what they wanted you to do. On the plus side, we should be able to max kill these with Mandragora, at least. Oops. There we go. Take that puzzle. So yeah, we still have to go to the bottom left and the bottom right. But the important thing is I exited the puzzle. I don't know if I got every item. I did get a few in there, but I might be missing a weapon. Oh. I didn't think he would actually reach me from there. trying to get the Lilo Soul, which might be worth it with Madragora. We still have to check out the other exits at some point in the puzzle, but I'm not in a rush to get those. So we could shortcut by going back this way when we're done with the boss. The boss has to be over here. Yeah, I feel like if we go up and to the left, we're gonna fight the boss. Ooh, don't do enough damage. Oh my gosh, there's the warp, right, chat? Jeez. There we go. We got Killer Clown. That's one less farm. We got one more required soul to beat the game. We're probably just going to take the warp back now, to be honest. I'm surprised we didn't come across the other item, but it has to be in here somewhere. <laughs> I'm so glad we have the soul chat. Listen, no regrets. Cat did its job. It farmed zombie. It did exactly what it should do. Now we just need to find cuddle and we'll be good. Another boomerang.
I know, that was actually not a bad one. This room is ridiculous. <laughs> Screw this room. Okay, we'll take the coffee. Got more news, which we could read later. I'm not in a rush for them. There's the boss door, so this has to be a save. But I didn't come across the other weapon. Hmm. Interesting. I should probably go... I guess I could kill the boss now, so I don't have to come back up this way. Uh, no. I think it should just be in there in general. We could just buy it when it unlocks, I guess. We have an okay amount of cash. I could probably create a couple items just to pick it up. We have about half of what we need. Oh, I don't have the magic seal for this boss. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, where did I miss a magic seal? Oh, please tell me it wasn't back before I did the jumps. <sighs> so annoying. The puzzle has it, that also works. Opening up where? That's nice. That is so annoying. I guess I'll get a couple more chances at Lilith while I'm here. Hmm. There's a couple of exits I could do in the puzzle room. So technically I got to where I wanted to be, but it's I needed something first. One of these. How unfortunate. Yeah, my other guess would just be the puzzle room, just because I didn't do all the puzzles. There's still another exit we didn't take, and that should take us back to the entrance. This. The very confusing minimap, if you're looking at the minimap. Okay. Should be back to the entrance. I couldn't reach five because it was facing the wrong way. I do something like this. I can rotate this out. Not another multi piece I could use. Um, do something like this. I can just get this piece replaced. Thank you for the good luck. Yeah, because technically we can leave as is, but it's like... This. This is what we had last time. Maybe I could do something like this. Just to go to room number five real quick. Now we got the... Okay, we have the cut-all. <clears throat> so we can sequence break right now. <laughs> if we want to, which I'm kind of tempted to do. I'm not going to lie. Is there anything else I miss? I guess I missed room number three. No, that doesn't really help me. Let's do... It's like we're missing kind of like a down and right tile. I think that's what I've realized. Looking at the board, I don't see anything that goes like down into the right. I would have to use my free space to potentially do that, which is kind of annoying. Hmm. I'd also solve my solution. Let me do... Do this just to get to room number three. 
that's one of the rooms I didn't go in. Okay, we marked that room. I'm also missing 4, 8, room number 9. Now that should be easy enough to get to. I just need to have a tile that goes up or down, which I think we can do. Should work to get to room number nine. Assuming I counted correctly. There was something in room number nine. Armor. Uh it it does give a strength boost, but it's only one in strength. I don't think I care about that. I think the six in intelligence is way more impactful. Doing like 11 more damage with our other abilities is kind of insane. Uh, bu 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 bu. I think I want to exit to the upper right. The question is, what is the best way to do it? I need a multi-path room to do it. I guess I can rotate number 10 in here. this. And then I can just check out the bottom left on my own. I just want to see if I even want to unlock this path. Yay, sliding puzzles. Yeah, what was over here? Ring mail. So it's the same stats as the elfin robe, but no intelligence. Well, that's a that's an easy pass for me, chat. That's easy. I'm thinking bottom left will connect me back to the entrance, which I want to check anyway. So we're going to do that, and then after I'm done with that, I'm just going to hit reset on the puzzle. It's like, if only this thing was not here. Maybe something like this, maybe. Oh, we don't have something that goes down into the right. Uh, I could do this. If I rotate this out. Actually, is this legal? Will it let me do this? Question. No, okay. I just wanted to make sure. I was just curious. That would save me a lot of rotations on the puzzle. So I want to go out the bottom left. Um... I could do something like this if I want to. The problem is more... don't have anything going to the right that would exit, so I'd have to rotate something like this into space. Maybe this would work. So we'll eventually reset it because we gotta go to the upper left. Or we can just leave it as is, because honestly, I have a warp going up there, so I shouldn't have to touch the puzzle room again. And we got a Cestus. So that was the Cestus I was thinking we would get from the puzzle area. Now we exited over here, which is interesting. This area, if I had to guess, probably has the magic seal that we need. We're gonna investigate over here. I was meaning to come back here via warp at some point anyway, but now we're officially over here. Is there a warp? There's an item. Not useful, just a high potion. I guess I can go get the Yeti thing since I'm here, question mark. I think eventually I need the electric griffin for the other enemy. So we are able to access new areas, which is, is not super helpful at the moment. So, so far we just went over here for a high potion. Is there anything else that was worth picking up? We did level up, which is hilarious. No, I don't see anything of interest over here. So right now I could just straight up sequence break 
If I go to the far right, I could skip having to fight Puppet Master for a while. It would make sense to get Puppet Master, because otherwise, like, other areas just become a big pain. Speaking of which, can I do something like this? Yes. We did all this for a pumpkin pie. Okay, not worth it. What else is here? Kill you real quick. And our other reward was absolutely nothing. Thank you, Dawn of Sorrows. <laughs> right, chat? Thanks. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. No items of interest. Okay, I think I can use this. I've done more for pumpkin pie. I think I need to throw it over here. I think. Might have thrown it too far to one side. There we go. Die, Yeti. Oh, you have to kill him super quick. Oh, we might need to double him. Um, yeah, I think I think it's time to murder him. There we go. <laughs> Hold on, chat. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him a couple times out of spite just because I had to do this stupid soul. You can see, we do some pretty insane damage. So, like, it definitely speeds up boss battles significantly. Like, so 27, 22. I love that you can just pop it for a second and not lose health. 63. Alright, so we killed Yeti. I didn't get the soul, because I don't care. I just wanted to showcase that, because we didn't even get to do that in the last playthrough. Um... I guess I could technically kill these. The curry does a surprising amount of damage, and it lingers like a trap. So on, like, longer enemy spawns, I could just kill them. I'm just leaving it there. Still can't check the upper portion of this room. Oh, come on. There we go. I had a feeling we should be able to get up here. Speaking of which, I'm going to unequip this because I'll forget that I don't have that and go to use flying armor. The Crimson Cloak, is that any good? It is somehow worse than Red Scarf? Ow! Wait, this is so much later in the castle. Why is that a downgrade? Excuse me? Uh... Donasaro, please. I know you aren't the best at item generation, but cut me a break on that one. So you're telling me I have to come back with double jump, and it's worse than something I found in just a casual room before this point? Why? Hmm. So sadly... I did not see where to get the magic seal, but I could kill the skeleton ape almost instantly. Oh, I wonder if I could do that to just, like, unsummon the curry faster. Hmm. I want to check this room since we're here, and then I'm going to walk to the warp in case it's not. If we happen to get another soul, this would be great, because it would save me some cash. But if we don't, it's fine. Not the soul I was looking for, but that's fine. Hmm. So I've missed a room somewhere, dot dot dot. I could go to the upper right, I think. I think that was originally locked by a one-way switch, but we have the ability to go past it. So I guess we'll start sequence breaking. Just just a little teeny bit. Just a little bit, Chad. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm going back up here. Now, speaking of which, is this weapon even any good? No, I like with Knuckle more. It's faster and has more stats. So sad, Chad. 
That upgrade we got early on with weapon synthesis has not been topped at all. It is kind of crazy we've killed several bosses and we've not found like a single upgrade remotely close. Yeah, you go, Curry. Show that, show that enemy what up. Look at that damage, Chad. Behold the power of Curry. So let's go ahead and save and let's go sequence break. <laughs> right, chat? I'm like, I don't know where the magic seal is. I thought we covered every room. I guess there's one room in the upper left I didn't go to. Would they really have put the magic seal that close to the boss? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's fine. We'll 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 have our own little adventure. I think that's how Cav Castlevania is meant to be played. You just ignore whatever it's trying to tell you to do, and you do whatever you want. Are we truly playing Castlevania if we don't accidentally glitch? I don't think so. Damn, that was such a good curry. Damn right, chat. We're letting ourselves- oh! Need, I need this room to go away. Preferably as soon as possible. By walk, walk, tree. Oh, it double hits. Oh. Okay. Guess I could use this weapon for a little bit. I guess if it double hits, that does make up for the damage difference. I would like to get this thing's electricity at some point, by the way. Speaking of which, we managed to get it. Good, we can show off another enemy later. So now we came out over here. Also, I need to give it a curry. As fun as it is, I don't think it's as useful as even things like Student Witch. So we're finally going to unlock the power of gun. Also, the cat just like body blocking the skull is hilarious to me. So here we go, Chad. We we're going to unlock the power. Oh, I thought I was going to die. And gun unlock, chat. On the plus side, if we manage to cancel quickly, we can do stuff like this. It does, like, no damage, by the way. Or his usual special he wields gun, pretty much. I'm gonna kill the enemy up there. I want these guys dead. Castlevania Glock of Sorrow, that's a good one, I like that. We can just do this repeatedly. If I'm really quick with the rhythm, I can output a lot of damage. But yeah, it's just very weak. Although apparently this thing's taking decent damage from it. You almost see like moments where I get the rhythm correctly. And again, it, it's because it requires, like, three inputs to do what is just normally two. There we go, it's like... Something like that. Okay, let's go back to Cuddle for now. Don't mind me, we're just sequence breaking. We're not supposed to be here. Don't tell anybody, Chad. Just sh we played this game legit. I don't know what you're talking about, right? Like we just—it's fi it's fine. We'll go this way. Maybe we'll unlock a warp. Oh, well, I mean, there will eventually be a warp here. A lot of Medusa heads. Hmm. 
Ooh, that is like super gravity. I wasn't sure how much that would impact our jump. The answer is a lot. I mean... Goodbye, Mr. Slime. Nice, we got Harpy. Oh, I thought he would die. How far off were we? Ooh, actually pretty far. He's cap for a little bit. That imp is such a troll. Five. Go to that direction at some point. Uh, wow, that really sucked. We took, like, 300 damage instantly. So, so, spikes don't mess around with Petrify. I'd like to not have to redo everything we just did. Actually, speaking of which, because this area is also very, uh, vertical, we're gonna go back to Mandragora. Imp taking me over briefly is very annoying. It doesn't do damage, but it could be bad for us if we lose control. Ooh, we went all this way for an army jacket? Ooh, I mean, it's tanky, but... Is it worth it? I mean, most of these enemies get one shot, so at the moment I don't think it matters. Gotta be kidding me. I'm glad I bought potions earlier. <laughs> I expect to die way more in this area than any other area, for sure. We're gonna do what we can just to keep our heart counts sort of in line with damage. So trolly. It's like just barely out of range. Okay. Wasn't too bad. Oh, I missed the cycle here. Unfortunate. Can't make that jump. Whatever. Five seven three. Ew, gross. There's a money door here. Also, unfortunate. The, the shock of the money door here disgusted me so much. I forgot about platforms. Uh, go this way. Huh? You've only come this far. You seem to be taking this rather leisurely. What are you trying to say? Dario has grown stronger by fusing with the demon of fire I summoned for him. I see. Is that your plan? Soma, back off! Wait, where did he... what? Hey, Ricardo, Julius too! Your presence is without meaning. No one can stop Dario now. The advent of the new Lord of Darkness is all but certain now. <laughs> Wait, did I confuse the cutscene because I came in from the wrong side? Why is the cutscene like this? Oops. I look. I'm pretty sure we were supposed to see her on screen, by the way. I don't think they realized I could come from this direction. Julius, I'm sensing a surge of magic from beneath the groundwater. <laughs> this one is special. It must be Dario. You go after him. I'll track down Celia. Soma, from here on, you stay away and let us take care of it. I, we know pretty much. Oh, what the? Well, that was weird. I was auto moving for a second. I was not holding a direction yet I was moving. That was a little concerning. Okay. Oh, man, where's the save? 
Don't a sorrow, please. I just want to save at this point. I mean, I'll go through the cutscene hallway if I have to. The other area will definitely take us to the boss. Where does this take us? Oh, this is the exit for the other area. Oh, yeah, we were definitely meant to be. So, yeah, we've now skipped basically two dungeons, by the way, equivalency. I didn't do Puppet Master yet, and we didn't do uh, Gurgoth. That would explain it. So I thought we were going to use the key. So sh don't tell the game. We're just not going to bother. We're just having our own little magical journey. So, yeah, we are very, very under level for this area. I'm going to take it slow, because my health is not the greatest. It's kind of annoying. Oh, that still hits me. Unfortunate. <laughs> did, did you see that pause? I saw that pit beneath me. That was so rude. That was so rude. Okay, that actually felt like a ROM hack. <laughs> Just blind drop into pitfall, into spikes, really? Really? The whole floor was spikes, except for the little lip here. So obnoxious. What BS chat? Also, can we not make this? Or do I have to do it like really tight? Okay, I do it tight. Ridiculous. Use the heads block me. There we go. Yeah, we're not waiting for that. Good enough. <laughs> right, chat. There just comes a point where you're like, yeah, it's not worth waiting. Swapping my buttons too. All right, let's go to a good old, good old axe and see how we do. I'll take the level ups because I said before we are not meant to be here by like two bosses. We did fight a little bit some other enemies. I wonder how much that means we can skip Puppet Master since I skipped Gurgoth already. Okay, so I could get more armor if I need it, but it's. Wait, but it's weaker than... What? Donna Sorrow, I, I, don't under, I don't understand your drop system. I'm gonna be real with you. How are we finding downgrades further in a dungeon? Yeah. Alright, that imp is gonna be very annoying, I have a feeling. Yeah. There we go. Where do they keep coming from? Go away. Oh, that forces a crouch if they're too close. Oh, maybe that's what happened. Also, I don't know if that's how it wanted me to do it. Oh, see, we found Magic Seal 4. We went 1, 2, 4. The obvious transition. Duh, of course it's the next one we're supposed to get. Just shh, don't tell, just don't tell the game we don't have the other Magic Seals. All right, chat, 1, 2, 4. That's how counting works, right? All that for a news article. Oh boy. Oh, I got Medusa head. Hmm. That lets us hover in place for those that didn't see it briefly. Doing it the valve way? Maybe. We're getting very close to uh, a, a much harder fight. Oh, I can't quite reach it. I think that's where a secret is, but it's easier to just come back for that. Game, please. Medusa heads, please. I'm not even going to use your dumb little platform. And another in. So I'm basically at the boss now, by the way. We skipped that whole other side. <laughs> yeah, I'm at the boss. Um... How hard is doing death skipping two bosses? 
Hmm. I don't think we skipped this many bosses at our first playthrough. So there is an enemy in the background. That is also something we can gather. I don't remember what that needs offhand, though. It wants something. I just don't remember which soul. Is there a warp somewhere? Might be after we defeat death we unlock a warp. Hmm. Yeah, I know, I know we need electricity for one of them, which we just got earlier. Where's the witch one? I don't know if it wants a cat. Not sure. I'm sure it'll come to me at some point without looking it up. Now the question is, Chad, I guess we could try to beat death right now? Question mark. Right, Chad? Like, maybe? Oh, you know what it needs? I think it needs a flying humanoid. The meme soul. Uh, well, we're at 420 health. I guess we're full on memeing. I mean, like, our stats are actually decent. I don't super care about my strength score that much. We have double jump, so it's not the worst that this could be. We are very tanky. We didn't really pick up that many yellow souls, which is a bit disappointing. I think Mandragora would work on this boss. There are phases where Curry would work as it goes along the ground. Slaughter would also work on this boss fight. But it's risky. Yeah, I don't feel like taking that many risks. I could have also punched Daria. Oh, by the way, we need to see how to do the seal. By the way, before, before we do this boss play, hold on. Well, how do you even do this magic seal? What are all these buttons? I guess I would like to practice. Chad, I'm just gonna write this down. My brain is just not gonna... It's not gonna process what this is, so it should be... I'm gonna write it a little note to myself. So it'll be Y L B B A X R B Y A, I think. No, my brain already forgot. I need to I need to see how it draws it. No, I actually just need to see the order that it goes in. Oh, okay, so it does go along the bottom. So it's Oh, actually, it'll teach me if I don't go fast. That also works. <laughs> Using a single boost? Yeah, we're gonna go in. We're gonna try it. I definitely can do damage if I need to. It's more of a question of how much healing do I feel like doing. So it'll be Y... LB. I'm just writing this down because my brain is just not gonna process it while I'm tired. And B. A. Oops. Did I not press A there? Maybe I leaned on a button there. Y, L, B, B, A, X, R, B, Y, A. X, R, B, Y, A. I just want to write it down. <laughs> If I just look at my notes, it should be... Okay. <laughs> my brain can interpret that. We're good. Okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, we got Bouge. Should be fun. Oh, wait, this isn't death. I'm sorry. This is uh, Time Stop McGee. Oh, uh, whatever. It's just, it's just Dario. Well, that does low damage. Oh, yeah, I'm not as concerned. I was I was thinking about death. I'm like, I don't care about Dario or Dio. Uh, do, your, do your little time stop BS. I don't really care. Yeah, you know he's Dio because he throws the knives, he stops time, and he even has the scratch clock. Oh, 
too early. Wait, he didn't even do the animation there. I think I just got a lucky there. Alright, it's definitely slide under the daggers. I could technically jump over, but it's not worth it. Uh... I'm gonna start using some souls. I want him to do a different attack. Oh, he counters souls? I never knew that. Today I learned. I almost never have a good red soul, so I don't usually bother. I mean, I'll take that. If I could damage boost just to speed up the fight, I definitely will. I forgot, wrong button. That was unfortunate. My phone literally closed when I went to type it, and that caused me to hit the wrong button. That was so sad. I got trolled. There we go. Phone said no. <laughs> it was like, I'm like, wait a minute, I can't see anything. Yeah, don't mind me, just a Zephyr. This is clearly the boss order we're meant to do. The real boss is the seal? Yeah, it definitely is. Right, there should be... If I want to get Imp here, I could get Imp, but I already got it. Where is the warp? There we go. So now we can come back here and save time if we want to later for Flying Humanoid. It also means we don't have to walk out of this hellhole. <laughs> right, chat? Like, I don't really want to walk out of here unless I have to. We can take some optional. We can take some optional steps though. Yeah, just didn't even need to use devil, it's fun. Oh, I don't have a uh, bat still, so I don't want to go that way. In theory, I could do that out of order, but it's not really worth it. Check this room out real quick just in case there's an item. Just to fill out the map slightly. That was so rude. And we're just gonna go right back up. This is so painfully slow. <laughs> Why is it so slow? Oh, that's really tough to get through without getting hit. Unfortunate. Alright, so we explored this area, so let's just go back. Is this? Shrug in my head, chat. Okay, got another level up, which is nice. Hmm. I think we could still go more out of order, but I need to do Puppet Master. Because I think I am locked out of where I want to go if we don't do that. So we could go do Gurgoth. We could do Reverse Boss Order. Because technically, right now, nothing stops me from going to Gurgoth. Is there anything else I could do that's really out of order? Oh, we could go to the bottom. Yeah, let, let's let's go more out of order before we do it. <laughs> we'll we'll go reverse boss order. How's that, chat? <laughs> Just like we've now decided that we're, we're we've had it with wherever the game wants us to go. Yeah. By the way, we still have to find Magic Seal Three somewhere. Maybe maybe it's maybe it's back in this middle area. So we still technically can't do uh, Puppet Master. And by extension, we might not be able to do Gurgoth, because he might need Magic Seal 3 as well. Don't mind me, we're just checking this room out real quick. Sadly, we still did not get the Bomber Armor. Then I would be spamming Katana a lot more, potentially. Okay, so let's go ahead and just say, screw the rules. So we have Aquarius, which is tankier, but I don't know if it's really worth it. I guess I could put it on this armor, just because. Oh, hello. I don't know if I want to deal with you. 
So the outer logicness continues, chat. <laughs> We're going everywhere but the right direction. It's fine. We'll we'll eventually loop around to a place I can't progress. Technically, if I get Bone Arc, I could go further out of order. Oh, speaking of hell, uh, we gotta farm again. Oh, we one shot? Oh my gosh, the time save. Chat, I can't even begin to tell you how annoying this was the first playthrough when we didn't have a weapon that could one shot. So we had to just rapidly cancel. Oh, that is such a relief. We need him for the true ending as a reminder. This is not optional. I need to do this. This is a good opportunity to get magic back, I guess. Yeah, I think we tried using Mandragora a couple times here. I forget if the underwater area, if the cat would work better. Come on, Ukubak, give us your soul. Sadly, we might end up farming the Bone Arc to do something out of order again. Well, I guess it's technically intended. I guess I won't say out of order. I mean, out of order from where we're supposed to be in the game. But you see that bottom area in the bottom left? I can go there now if I want to. I'm pretty sure I can fight uh, whatever that horrible fish boss is. I could do that. <laughs> pretty sure. If it deals... Although, what seal does it need, I guess is the question. I have to find the third seal, I think. Because I imagine every boss at this point is three seals. Rahab, thank you. So, like, I'm pretty sure I can reach him, even if I'm not meant to. Due to how, like, dive kicks work and our little cuddle doing whatever it wants. Also, Ukabak, please. Shake your head, Chad. So, it's got a double star rarity, so it's about allegedly as rare as some of the other things we had to farm. Ooh, takes three stabs with cuddle. That's not worth it. So there's a, yeah, the area in the bottom left requires either Bone Arc or it requires Puppet Master plus uh, Skeleton Ape, which, funny enough, we finally have Skeleton Ape this time. And that will let us do things that we're not supposed to. As you can see in the bottom left how there's like two hallways that go off to the left. Yeah, another three, yeah, the 3% trolls are here. This is so painful. So you see how, like, there's two hallways in the bottom left that seem about parallel with each other? They do eventually connect, and I can go to the one that I'm not supposed to. In fact, I could go to both of them right now if I really wanted to, but it requires Bone Arc. In order for me to get any use out of it, which would be better used if I went this way first. back, please. I have a feeling the next, like, ten minutes are just gonna be Ukabak farming. I'm pretty sure there's not another room with a better Ukabak. Because this one's, like, right here. We're just getting unlucky that he's going away from us a lot. Mmm. Donna Sorrow chat. Mmm. It'll be so funny when we meet Celia later. The game just gets exceptionally confused as to where it is in the plot. Definitely Sorrow, for sure. Holy. Game, please. I'm gonna start practicing movement tech. This is taking so long. Hey, come on. <laughs> where is the soul? Oops, only sorrow. Damn. Hard truth, though. Like that little slide afterwards. There we go. We're gonna do movement tech. I got nothing better to do. Let's learn it. Yeah, there we go. See how I did that backdash into the jump? That's what I want to see. When it goes to the other end, that's such a waste of time. Wow, we leveled again. Big yikes. How much health are we up to? 444. We're gradually getting tankier. 
They'll make up for the reverse boss order shenanigans. Every time it doesn't go towards us, it wastes so much time. Speaking of which, I'm half wondering if it's worth resetting rather than going towards it. I was so scared that was going to be the soul. I didn't want to backdash cancel it. Holy. Okay, one, one disaster farm out of the way, I guess. Yeah, see how I'm able to kind of like go under the water a little bit? We could do some goofy things we're not supposed to. Hi, devil. I'm surprised he survived that. Rusty food tin. Quite an item drop. But this should lead us... I was gonna say, eventually over here. Okay. So that's the room we can't cross unless we have Bone Arc or uh, Puppet Master or whatever. Bone Arc is easier to do. So there should be a Bone Arc in the area to our right. So we could just really confuse the game as to what we're doing. I'll take the Toadstool, why not? Ours now, Chad. I think I can't go this way, if I remember correctly. But we can still get some kills. I see Putin, which I think we have Ghoul, so we can technically heal off of that. Oh, wait, we can't go this way. Where does this lead? <laughs> right, chat? We're just going on our own magical journey. Oh, but we have time stop. Oh, look, we could we could sequence break harder. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Where's time stop? It's in here somewhere. I thought somewhere. Or is it a red spell? There it is. Oh, look, chat. Look. <laughs> I can fight the bat boss. Wait, I can fight the bat boss. Wait, what seal does that need? Hold on. I mean, all we need is seal three, and I can just do whatever I want at this point. Hold on, chat. We're going to go find out where the seal is. There's so much we could do out of order right now. It's insane. Okay, cat, I need you. There is a warp over here, right? If there's a warp over here, I'll take it before we go look for that seal. I'm assuming it's back in the middle of the castle. I got a ghoul soul from something that barely spawned. Nice. Damn, that thing is tanky. We're being attacked by the centipede things from uh, Link's, uh, Link to the Past. Get away from me. Do you see him hunting me down? Go away. <laughs> right, chat? I mean, thanks for the assist, but really need it. We still now have paranoia. This is how we could have gotten Waiter Skeleton a little faster, maybe. We're, we are on just a magical journey right now with the map chat. I have no idea. Oh, look. Sure. <laughs> the right chat? Sure. Yeah, yeah, this looks about right. <laughs> just, just, okay. Just open this up. Cool. I got it in one try? Wow. Chat, round of applause. First try, soul. Just every time. Just do it every time. It's easy. Just just play Donosaurus better. <laughs> wow. Our first one try, soul. They look like it a decent rarity, too. Alright, I can't dive kick through that, so that's off limits for now. I guess I could kill these for needles if I want to. Kill like one more. Ah. So now we're just going on a magical journey, chat. <laughs> the intended route, just shrug your shoulders. 
If we can unlock warps, this would save us a lot of time, actually. We mostly just need to know where the warps are. We have to be near something. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Do I have a hammer? I wonder if Mace will do. Oops. Kind of. Need stronger ones. So if we have a mace like weapon, we could do it. Uh go back to whip knuckle. So we just need saves and warps. So you can see we're coming to a point where we could allegedly only come this way by having the ability to go underwater. But spoilers, we didn't do that, so whatever. So we just need Bone Arc and we could go to the bottom left. I think I could go this way if I force it through. So close, chat. Oh, we're so close! The fish is in the way, though. Wait a minute, hold on. Curiosity. With that soul we picked up, would that actually do something? Or is that a passive soul? No, that's not what I'm looking for. Might have been a passive soul. I don't see it in here. For the thing that's in an increased our mobility underwater. So I'm just going to stomp the fish real quick. Don't mind me, chat. Listen. Clearly the most efficient way of killing the fish. Yeah, it was gray. We did barely not make that. Okay, we might be forced to go back the way we came. So sad. If we just get a little more momentum. Oh, there we go. There we go, chat. Now, now we're going all sorts of places. Unfortunately, I didn't unlock a warp, but it's fine. in a magical journey right now. Oh, I think this is the Bone Arc room. We have to be very close to it. Which is fine. I can use that, I think, to go past the way that we were stuck earlier. Oh, I thought they were in the, the long gray rooms like this. Where are they? Oh, this might have been the other Uka back room. That's fine. So we did all this just to make a big loop. Interesting. So, so far, we have not found a warp, which is a little concerning. We found a save point. So I could go back the way I came. If we could just find Bone Arc, we could go out the left side. My only concern is if I commit to the bottom right. If we don't get a warp, it is a very long journey back. So we're looking for Bone Arc, because then I can explore the bottom left. I'm not sure if I can go back the way I came. It's not a big deal either way. Since we're so close to the place we took to go there anyway, it doesn't really matter. All that just for another mushroom. Unfortunate. Okay, so we're on a journey for a couple of specific enemies. Or a warp. Oh, we found a warp. Oh, okay. Right, chat? Okay. Ever create beef lettuce wraps at night midnight? Oh, no. I was gonna say, I hope you're craving some cheese, because we're we're doing whatever we want with the game now. The world is our oyster. Alright, so, so now that we're here. We should be able to go over here. So now we have a shortcut past the point where I need the swim. Oh, there will be cheese, exactly.
Gotta practice my dive kick movement. Hmm. I think I needed to use Cat there. So yeah, Bouge is so strong that I think it j could just carry us for the rest of the game, especially if we start using Double. Chat. Mm-hmm. Hold on. We can't go through this area the right way. I'm sorry. We just we just have to. It's imperative that we do this the wrong way. Hmm. I like that in none of our playthroughs of Dawn of Sorrow have I gone through these doors the correct direction. I think the closest was unlocking that other shortcut. That's a lot of magic. Kinda nice of them. Hello. Oh, we could get a uh, boosh upgrade by killing this thing. Hold on, chat, we can have better boosh? Wait a minute. Is that worth farming? Hmm. I would probably want to do time stop. Oh, we still have moves during that. That's kind of scary. What? What? Oh, oh wait. Uh, did you see that? What was I getting hit by? Hold on. Was that getting hit by nothing? What was that? Curiosity. How many cards does it take to kill? Answer is way too many. Hmm. I don't mind burning some potions that I don't care about. We're learning on the fly. It's like the hitbox of the other enemy was still there even though he died. And that punished me, which is hilarious to me. It's probably worth killing him just to get our magic back. Uh, I'll go for a couple of kills here. There's definitely an easier place to farm this later on. Oh, I missed. That's not good. Too slow. Yeah, we're, like, just not tanky enough. Unless I use Demon, which is kind of risky. I don't mind doing it a little bit. Keep calling it Demon. Excuse me, it's Devil. Oh, way to activate. Way too late. <laughs> Not what I wanted. I keep forgetting. There's also a big delay when using it. We'll kill two more of these and then we'll move on. Again, we'll be getting potions anyway. We have, like, what? Almost 20,000 in cash? We'll be fine. Oh, we leveled up. How nice. Kill one more. Oh well. No upgrade for us. It's an awkward farm. We'll come back later. I'll take another safety heal. Then we'll go back to the shop eventually. Interesting. Oops, the bonk. All that for a neck warmer. Okay, is this any good? Hey, there we go. There we go, chat. Look at that. Defense increase. I'll make using Devil a bit less scary. Now I should be able to step on this, right? Okay, look at that. We opened up a shortcut. We did it. It took a while. So if I, I guess I could just literally walk and go get our potions now. I might as well as do that. And speaking of which, since we're here... I guess I could check to see if the magic level 3 seal is in the middle here. I remember in my first playthrough of this being... That's... Not flying armor. So anyway, uh, I remember playing this the first time and being very confused where it was. So I'm just assuming it's over here. Although I might need to come in from the other side. I guess I could check the other... 
Uh, yeah, I guess I could check the other side first. There's something above the drawbridge, is what I'm saying, but there's also the room on the other side of the drawbridge. I guess I could check both out, it doesn't really matter. We'll check here first, and if it's not, I'm just gonna assume it's the other place. Bonk. Oh wait, never mind. I can't jump up through here. I'm dumb. I forgot. <laughs> I thought the drawbridge room was the one on the left. Whoops. Right idea, wrong map tile. You know what? We're actually surprisingly close to 573 until I passed it just then. We unintentionally almost did it. Alright, let's go buy potions, and then... I guess we will take our own shortcut back. But we're gonna check out the other rooms first, because I think that is actually mandatory to progress the game. It's probably good at some point to pick up a plot-relevant item. But then we could probably go fight the fish. And then I could choose to fight... Gurgoth, and then I could go fight Puppet Master if I wanted to. Just do the order totally wrong. The downside to doing Puppet Master later is that there is one item that I can't reach that is near Gurgoth that I would have to go back for if I really want to. But we've also seen the quality of the Dawn of Sorrow items, so I'm not sure if that really ultimately matters. <laughs> Be real honest with you. So we have the ability to go get an upgrade for our weapon, which I probably want to do. Yeah, I think we checked here, but I don't know if I checked the other room. Okay, yeah, so there's not much I could do here. Like, I think I checked up there, but I didn't then check this room. Is there a way up here? No, there's not. You have a strong feeling I'll fight Puppet Master first. What do you mean? I've already skipped Puppet Master. I mean, I could go back to it now if I want to. We don't need Puppet Master to reach Gurga. It makes things easier, but, well, actually, wait, there is one room I might need it. There's, I think, not not the hallway, but I think when we're in the tower climb, there might be one room I need it. Unless I go through it, it in reverse, which I don't think I could do without doing some serious clips. Hmm. So the question is, chat, Magic Seal 3, where art thou? Hmm. I'm looking at the map again. I guess... I guess Master... Uh, hold on. I think I know where it is. Did they really put it that close to the boss room, though? I was talking about this earlier. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be there, but I guess it is there. Let's go grab that real quick, and then we'll ignore whatever the game wants us to do. We're gonna check this out real quick, and then we're gonna go back to sequence breaking. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna grab this, because I'm pretty sure we can go reach another boss before we have to do Puppet Master. But all we need is the seal. There's one room here. Did they really put the seal right next to the boss? Oh my gosh, get out of here. Oh boy, chat. I mean, that's a location for it, I guess. Why even bother having the seals if you're gonna put them there? <laughs> Just honest question, chat. Why? Anyway, back to whatever we want to do. Um. Uh, this might be faster. All right, chat. Back to the sequence break. So we can definitely access the outer tower without needing Puppet Master, that's for sure. We've done that before in our other playthrough. 
I'm trying to remember if we got trolled at tower, because I think there is... We have to do a long climb to reach Gurgoth, and there might be one... One specific room that needs it. Right, we're just gonna go ahead and max out real quick. Do you have anything fun? Sure, we'll buy one of these. Wow, can you imagine actually buying these upgrades, chat? Oh, Masamune is actually good. And that will assume that we upgrade the Masamune at some point. Yeah, we already have better than everything here. Skipping skipping many tiers in the Katana line would, sa would save a lot of time. Masamune is the only one that I think is worth maybe taking. Which I think we sold items for in our other playthrough, but this playthrough, it's fine. My eyes are trying to adjust to where we have to go. I think it's over here, right? Yeah. Wow, our dive kick insta-kills them. That's embarrassing for them. I do like you to sit in the chairs, though. <laughs> just just have, have a rest. Anyway, back to going the wrong way. I knew you were going to put something beneath me. I just wasn't sure when it would appear. All right, chat. Back, back to not doing the correct thing. Oh, hello. Oh, you are tanky. Hmm. How much do you do if I walk into you? You know what? We'll take that. We bought nine potions. Listen, chat. Oh, the maze. Oh, I love the maze. Hold on a second. Something like this, I think. Almost. There we go. We just had to get through the initial part. That is a cat room if I've ever seen one. If only cat was slightly stronger. There we go. It takes two. The cat's cleaning up. Just smacked it. We can almost go where we need to go. Thank you, Black Cat. I did not mean to cancel you, but that's fine. Okay, we just need to get a bone arc, and then we're in business. The bone arc's on the side. I can kill these things if I want. If I want to get a quick kill, I could lure them together, maybe, and then just throw a Mandragora. Look at them squirm. Yeah, Homunculus isn't cooperating, that's fine. So we don't have what we need to progress here. Going through this in reverse is such a pain. Thank you for revealing the graphics a little bit, but it's not super helpful to me. It's gonna be like another platform over here. Yeah, where's the other one? It's like over here, right? I think when we played the DS version, by the way, it didn't actually work. <sighs> Almost made it back up. I think this is the... Oh, come on. How is that not it? Game, please. I know we can get back up here. We've done it before. This might need, like, one bounce. <laughs> they don't do a lot of damage, so we have a lot of trouble. Oh, there's the jump that I'm looking for. We need them to line up a little better, then we could get back out of here. Oh, I almost got out of there. I forgot which side it was on. I think I gotta go up higher. Come on, Ghost. You could cooperate. We could get out of this room, I swear. We have enough potions and time. I should be able to do this. I just need to stop getting stunned when I get hit. I almost made it. I was trying to hold left, but I, I think I did it a little too slow. 
Yeah, the problem is getting, like, that exact angle, because there's, like, one tile I can stand on, and then I gotta go left. And as you can see, I bounce a lot when I hit them. Almost. I needed one more ghost beneath me. This is so sad. Come on, game. Let me back up. I know I can do this. There we go. Oh, don't bump me down there. Oh, don't do that. That is so scary. No. So annoying. Go away. There we go. We're almost out of the maze. Just, I might need a little assist here. There we go. Alright, we're out of the room. Uh, I'll take a safety potion. That's not the angle I wanted to go in. That sucks. Wait, does that mean I could do this? Yes. Alright, so we can't go that way only because I don't have uh, the arc to cheese through the whatever. We'll go get our potions back eventually. I don't super need them for boss fights given that we have two coffees and all that other healing. <laughs> so I should still be fine. I don't need to restock for boss fights. I'm expecting more to take damage by doing stuff out of order than anything else. Okay, so I could go this way. I probably want to go back to where the warp was. We'll try one last time to get Super Axe. Damn, no Super Axe. Okay. So nothing of interest was there yet, because I don't have the ability to go underwater, but we can fix that. We now have seal three, which means that I can kind of delete the enemies now if I want to. Don't mind me. <laughs> so that whole area to the bottom right, we're not supposed to have reached. So let's go back there. So there's a room to the upper portion I might be able to reach. And if I can't go that way, we could go fight, uh, I guess whatever, whatever boss is at the bottom, right? If it's Bat Boss or Rahab or whatever. Yeah, I thought Bone Arc was in a long room like this, because I remember walking back and forth in it, but it might be like up a floor or something. Ukabak room. There it is. Oh, that doesn't kill instantly. That almost killed me. Yikes. Taking too much damage. Yeah, these enemies are annoying because I can't one-shot them. There should be a save here, though. Yeah, here we go. I remember going back and forth in this room a lot. I was one, one row off. So if we get that, I can go to the bottom left. I don't think we get any interesting items, though, since we technically already went to where it was earlier. Yeah, sadly, the cat is not able to hit it either. We do something like this. So we're going to try for Bone Arc here. I might be able to use it to cheese uh, some of the underwater sections. Rather than doing it the intended way. And as I said before, we need this to go one of the intended ways anyway. What? I got robbed. This might take a while, Chad. It's a rarity three. I don't think the Bone Arc servants can drop it. Yeah, definitely good luck needed. Yeah, 
Okay, I don't even think it's worth using Devil. I'm just trying to spam one ability and hope it hits. Yeah, we're gonna be here a while. The fact that it doesn't hit it is like driving me wild. Such an annoying enemy. I guess I could swap out Student Witch with... I guess if Zephyr works on this, it might not be that bad. No, that's too slow. Uh... Do enough damage. Or does it not work? It does do a lot of damage. But I don't think I could use it while swimming, sadly. Nor can I use it in midair. The slaughter is scaled into the heavens, by the way. If we just want to go around punching people to death, we now have the ability to do so. I think I tried Ukabak at one point to try to get kills, but I don't think it's better than Madragora. Because I could kind of put it, like, here, for example. Like, it does help, but I, I think Madragora is just better. Waiter Skeleton's not going to help me that much. Yeah, it's just kind of unfortunate. So we can still go to the right. We haven't been locked out to the right, and we haven't been locked out to the bottom right. We will eventually need to get Puppet Master, in theory. Uh, that was a good clean throw, I think. I keep getting clipped by that shot. I kind of like that for speed clears. I think that's much better than what I was doing. There we go. That's much cleaner. See that chat? We're learning. We still didn't learn from our mistake and we're trying Bone Arc again. But, you know, we learned a little bit. I'm not going to say it's perfect. So, Chad, how many tries do you think this is going to take? At least we're killing all of them in case that's needed for the soul to appear. Oh, I got hit there twice. That sucks. Stupid merman. learning, yeah, pretty much. For sure, more than one try. Definitely. I ran out of MP. That is so sad. We... We'll get there eventually. On the plus side... My XP is phenomenally high. I guess the question is, will I level before I see the soul? Look at us go. One would hope I wouldn't, but it looks like we probably will. Shaking my head on that one. Game, please. One level for sure. Hopefully not two levels. That would just be atrocious. This drop rate is so bad, Chad. I'm pretty sure this is the best room to farm it in, because there's three of them. And they're right near a save point, too, so you could just constantly refill your MP. Otherwise, you'd have to get, like, a million MP refills. Do we do, like, quote-unquote, just enough damage to make this viable? Thank you. Thankfully, we got the axe upgrade. Otherwise, this would be horrendous. We'd probably only be doing, like, 40 or so without Devil. There's our level up. So we now do slightly more with the Kaboom. There we go. We got Bone Arc. Uh, sure. Let's go use Bone Arc. Now 
that was much more reasonable than the amount of times that we tried in the first playthrough. <laughs> One, three, that's fine. We already have the hints. I'm pretty sure we have all the soul knowledge needed for that if we want to show it off. The level up was the manip? I think so. Wow, they actually survived that? Oh, and we got Frozen Shade? I think we got that last time, too. Nice to get some more souls. So this will be the path, the path that I cannot take because we don't have swim, but I'm just curious if there's any items leading into here. So we could really confuse the game by choosing to go this way. Poor game. Is that a warp? What is th what is this room? Or is this a save? This can't be a save, right? Oh, it's one of these. So we picked up a small sword, which sounds absolutely terrible. Big yikes, chat. <laughs> Big yikes. <laughs> terrible. Alright, well that answers the mystery there. So do both of these rooms just have the waterway? Oh. Yeah, it just has the waterway we can't do anything about. At least I can touch these rooms so I don't have to go back here, just to say map cleared. There you go, chat. We technically we technically went into the room, and therefore it counts as marking it on the map. We did it. I guess that answers the mystery of what is in that room. We still have an area to the right we could go to. We obviously didn't even go to any of the bosses. We now have Magical Seal 3 and 4. We could do whatever we want at this point. Nice triple kill. I guess we'll go show off the bone arc because I didn't ever get to show that off on stream before. I'm gonna do a save. That's gonna lead us into a room that's more or less immediately a dead end, but it's fine. We're gonna take that opportunity to fill in the map a little more, make sure I'm not missing any free items. And we're gonna go to the bottom right, because we have two different paths we could take. One of them is guaranteed to lead us to a boss. There we go, we're out of there. I like that kill. Um, where was she aiming? Hello? Like, oh yeah, I was definitely over there. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I'll take damage boost if they put me in the right direction. Let's go fill in the map a little bit here. That is so sad that you can jump off of that spike and it doesn't hurt you. That is so sad. Okay, there is an item we can technically get. I guess I should go grab it. We already got Medusa Head, which suspends us in the air. I found a secret passageway entirely by accident, but you know what? We'll take that. Right, chat? Just dive kick the wall just because. I did not remember that was there. So we'll, we'll probably hunt down some tiles. I'm willing to do 100% map. Yeah, we definitely take those. I could go take this. And the Mita. All these enemies to get off of me. So I guess we try to see where that was. What's too high up? Um, in that case, we save and try again with the slow fall. <laughs> right, chat? Like, okay. I mean, our destination is in the bottom left, and we have to go this way anyway, because I think we forced ourselves past the one way, but the game also does not expect you to be able to go. So we use that to basically wrap around and just get a bone arc. That way we could go to the left. 
just need to, like, one more damage. Really? It still didn't die. Damn. I need to... Maybe I should put some strike ups on. You can definitely go above where it is. Okay. All this to attain Eversing. Oh. <laughs> Chat. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. That's... That's a good pickup before we even fight Puppet Master. That's, um, really good that we found that. That is much better than what we were using. Oh, they're doing so little damage. Did we seriously get Uka back? Oh, that is a super pickup. It is the pickup of all time, chat. We will absolutely take that. Alright, I should be able to do this. There might be an L move. Yeah, there it is. I did it in the wrong direction. I think we need to be at max MP for this to work. I mean, we have leveled a little bit, which helps. I think this will work. Oh, it cancels. Because oh, I don't have the other ability. Like, you could do stuff like this. Unless the water's really low, then I might be able to do it here. Actually, I still might be able to do it. Let's see. No, I can't do it without the other ability. That's so sad. That is so sad. If I could swim underwater with the other ability, I could do it. Oh, well. Today we learned. That's what happens when you do things out of sequence. You forget sometimes you need abilities. So normally it would just walk you in the water, and then because you have the ability to swim by now, you just go through. So sad. Also sad that we got another Uka back without trying. That's kind of sad. But hey, we got a super defensive item, so the odds of me using Devil have gone up by, like, at least, like, 500%. I'm willing to at least sub it in for boss battles now. We have a super tank item. There's no reason to not go for it. So don't worry, chat. We still have a lot left to explore. So note to self, Bonamaria, I need the ability to swim. We need to kill Rahab at some point. Durgoth, I don't think, unlocks anything of interest. I think it just gives you the tower key, right? I don't even think we need to kill Gurgoth. We could just let Gurgoth win or live in our playthrough. <laughs> just be like, oh well, yeah, it's fine. We don't need him. He's not mandatory. At least I don't think we need the tower key for anything because it just exits Gurgoth's place, which we've already entered through the wrong way to get through. We got time stops, so we're able to go this way. Uh, I need the cat on one of our abilities. Let's do this one. So we're gonna go all the way to the bottom first and see where that takes us. I'm surprised we haven't gotten Skelerang's soul yet. We've killed a lot of them. Call Archer. Is this a warp? No. I think that was one of the guard abilities, which I wouldn't mind. Oh. This room. Good enough. Wait, he, he can't fit in that gap? Why? Fine. Oh, when we did a little twirly in the air, we'd be fine. Did that for a rare ring. Raises the chance of finding rare items. I mean, I guess I could just do that, honestly. This does work. I don't think I really need the defense right now. I think chat would agree. We could afford to try to get the rare items. Also, I just noticed our, uh, 
full total. We'll take that. Wait, it blocks from behind? Oh, it, 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 it is just much better than me. If we get this ability, this could be useful. But I'm not gonna farm it. Oh, there's another Bonar. That would be sad if we also got it from that one kill, I'm not gonna lie. Um... We could just clear out this area. I could check to see if there's a hidden wall here. Open up. We were here before. We went upwards. Still no skill around. We're making our way through. Oh, we got a cutscene. Ugh! Julius! I'm fine, don't worry. What? You're done already? So much for the legendary Belmont. Hmm. Talk all you want. Hey, punk. Looks like I could get me a little payback from you. I'm not at full power just yet. Contrary to what we saw earlier. The throne chamber on the top floor. You're heading there, weren't you? <laughs> we say having left the top floor. That's where we'll settle our scores once and for all. So I think once I get the bad ability, I think I can then go to the left. So we, we have to go from like the top warp and go left, if I remember correctly. We have to go through that awful zigzag spike room. And then I think that leads to the where Dario is. Watch it, he's tough. Especially for me, since I can't use magic seals. Hold on, Julius, you can't use magic seals? Uh-huh, what about it? Well, didn't you run into monsters you couldn't destroy? No, I destroyed them before they could reconstitute. They weren't a problem. But this time, I don't think that'll work. You gotta be joking, that should have been impossible. Forget about me, you could go on, I'll be fine. He's expecting me, I'll be on my way. Watch out for his fire attacks, but you could do it. Don't disappoint me. Got it. Bye, Julius. Okay. Nice. Save point. So there's a path under us we could go to. We still have not gotten Puppet Master, by the way, Chad. I'm pretty sure we're about to go fight a boss. Nice double kill. This should be the long hallway before the bat boss, right? Yeah, this looks like it. Remember, Jupiter would go in this hallway for the ghouls. We got ours pretty early, though. Get out of here. Alright, so... We should probably just equip... Devil... Which seal is this? Oh, it's this one? Alright, we might have... Well, hold on, let me make sure my notes are not going to fall asleep on me. So it was Y-L-B-B-A-B-A-X-R-B-Y-A. -B -B -A okay. Alright, another boss out of order, chat. Which will let us turn, transform into the bat, and we could just skip killing... Uh, what's his name? 173, well... But that drains our health pretty quickly. That does insane damage, Chad. We're gonna have to heal potion here to not die, thanks to the devil. Oh, this fight, I remember now. Oh. 
Bye. This boss is doing a lot of damage despite having everything. I was gonna be honest with you, I was not expecting that much damage. I guess I'll take it slower. Oh no. Just gonna say, hold on, my, my phone closed. It was... This, 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 this. Okay. So. That health drain is pretty fast. Scared me a little bit, but we got through it. And now we should have bad. So now I can do whatever I want. Now we can really sequence break. <laughs> right, chat? Like, oh, we're all good. We just did bad now. I don't know when you were supposed to do bad, but we have it. Probably want this here. I'm kind of sad we haven't found any other yellows. Oh, that's right. This game has like the worst bat. I remember complaining about this last time. That hole you hang in the air and then like you're so vulnerable afterwards and it whips you upwards and it and you can get knocked out of it. Oh, worst bat. Gross. So yeah, I don't think we need to do Gurgoth anymore. I'm pretty sure we have everything we need to go beat the game. <laughs> Just, we let Gurgoth live for now. Maybe we'll clean him up later. Maybe we'll go beat the final boss of the game and go back for Gurgoth. But yeah, with this we're able to go get the... Um, what are they called? The, the gate area chests. We still need, I think, one more magic seal. I think it's the only thing we need to beat the game at this point. Uh, let's go back to using the calf for a little bit. Oh, there's a warp here. That is so huge. Um... <laughs> Chat, where was Rahab? Um... I guess it must have been to the right of here somehow. I'm gonna go back here temporarily. I could go get the mirror now if I wanted to. I probably want to get it at some point. Get some paranoia in there. Let's go ahead and just rebuy our potions since I don't think I'll be making another purchase of this game aside from potions. Hey Soma, what's wrong? I kind of understand, but don't you think it's a little too frequent? What is? Julius. You know how often he comes to see Yoko? <sighs> Not this dialogue again. It's their job. They have to keep in touch. Well, I get that, but the little age gap doesn't get in the way of love. You're imagining things. Yoko said that Julius is just a business partner. She didn't really, but... Yeah, yeah, I get it. That's okay, then. Anyway, how can I help you? Uh, you can help me by restocking these. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we're about at the point I should just start buying high potions. I probably want some mind-ups for later. I'm gonna go ahead and get, like, a lot of these. I want them for the final boss. Yeah, I don't really need anything else. I could go sell stuff if I want to, but it's really not needed. Hopefully we will not have to return here before the last shop trip of the game. It will not be for probably, like, three or four bosses. Unless I drain all my health on Devil, then I gotta go back. Yeah, I still gotta get used to the fact that this weapon is crazy slow. It does like a million damage with Devil, but I think Whip Knuckle would have actually been better in that fight. But oh well. I think... I, is this the first time I've gotten Devil? I don't remember having it in the other playthrough, to be honest with you. Might not have gotten it. Okay, now we could go up here. Double check there's nothing we need, and then we can move on. Oh. Is there literally nothing here? That's disappointing. Okay. So we can keep this raised, so I can keep this as a shortcut going forward. So I should be able to just fly through here. That's good at least, although I'll probably still step on that switch by accident a lot. So all this to fight you, who does not really hurt me anymore. Oof, a heart pendant? That's what you gave me? Hmm. I don't know about that, chat. Oh, we finally got Warg. About 
two hours too late, but you know, that's fine. We got it eventually, I guess. We could have used that to upgrade something earlier, by the way, champ, but uh, obviously there's no point to it now. Um. Buh, 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 buh. I don't know if it matters what direction I go on this. I guess I could go downwards first. Might be faster. Let's see. Where do we need to explore? We still need to go underwater at some point. Hmm. Gotta grab any last second souls. Slime does have a glitch, but not in this game. Hmm. Think of interest over here. We're going on a magical tour as I look at the map. I'm mostly just on autopilot as I look at the map. Let's see. There is one area we haven't been to. We could still glitch on the right side. Sadly, we didn't unlock a warp anywhere near there. I could just go straight and get go get Paranoia now, if I want to. Since I have the ability to fly, I could technically go straight to the Cursed Clock Tower and do the intended order. But I think if we go this way, I might be able to do something fun. I don't know if I could do Gurgoth's Climb without Puppet Master. Maybe with Bat it's possible. Not sure. Oops, actually not this way. That is so slow. It also drains like a million MP, by the way. Kind of brutal. They definitely hard nerfed that, for sure. There we go, we finally got Skelerang. Guess we want to do more damage with thrown weapons. Which I don't, but that's fine. There we go, just attack through it. Okay, yeah, that's that larva is in the way. Okay, let's move forward. So there's the area to the right we couldn't go to. But now we also have flight, so we have almost every form of movement possible in the game. We're honestly only missing Puppet. Kill you real quick. I was curious if I could bat underwater with the game would try to do. Oh, right, this. Okay, then there's only one place we could go to then. So we picked up all the items we needed. I guess I'll go back to... Ugh. I guess no matter what, I have to take kind of an ugly warp to get there. Unfortunate. I'm half wondering if I should just get paranoia now, but I guess there's nothing that needs paranoia in the next area. Because most of the other checks we've already come across, it's just whether I want to go back to them is another question. Oh! Ooh, she's tanky. Is she still alive? What? How much health does she have? Holy... Yeah, I'm not farming that. No thank you. I was thinking, oh, you know, we, we got our super weapon, so it should only take, like, four or five hits. Much more. We 
did it once. Like the perfect angle. There we go. <laughs> Just don't mind us. We're going through the wrong way again. So I'm going to go touch the save. Get our stuff back so I don't need to use items. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the right side. And I guess we'll clip the wrong way through. So we could skip Puppet Master in theory. Actually, this save might be faster if I do this one. We do have Mina's Talisman. So once we find seal number five, we have everything we need to go to the true ending at this point. Other than, I think, Paranoia. We should probably get the swim ability at some point. Right, Chad? It would probably make sense to get at some point. Hmm. I love that every time we played this game, I still have not played it the correct way. <laughs> One day, chat. One day I'll learn boss order and where you're supposed to go. Fun. Let's go... Can't go this way. Just remember. Here we go. Do we have a place we could go to? I don't think I have the seal needed for this. We should just bonk off of it, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we don't have the seal number five. Which we should be able to get if we go... ...and fight Dario now. Or at least enter his area is a more accurate statement. There we go, chat. We're just having a happy little journey through Castlevania. Sadly, the only soul that we missed that would actually be kind of fun to use is uh, Yorick. I would be using it constantly if we got it, just to try to learn it. We've used it, I think, a little bit on Rahab. Through the cat at the barrel. Cat greater than barrel confirmed, chat. Yeah. We already got that lightning ability, so I don't need to worry about that. So yeah, we should be able to do some shenanigans here. Summon the cat to clear the way. Thank you, cat. Still my favorite soul, for sure. Okay, so now we're gonna go the wrong way again. <laughs> to no one's surprise, right, chat? Hold on. We're ignoring Puppet Master again. Uh, this should work. Hell yeah. And now we have flight, so I can actually get this item that normally is not attainable. There's one that's like you have to fly up a long distance. We're going in the room the wrong way. But now we can definitely go get it. We're normally supposed to just fall down here. Oh. That's a quaddle saying hello. In the most rude manner imaginable. Nice. Got a mini double. At least Skepsaquaddle is not doing big damage to us. Yeah, so this we would not normally be able to. Seriously? That wasn't solid ground that I just jumped to? Okay, get rid of you. Oh, I could- I barely must have missed it, because I thought I landed, like, right here. There we go. Pop, pop. Here's the item we can't normally attain. Eye potion. Okay, I'll take that. I'm getting a thousand bucks, I guess. 
Don't mind us. We're just going to see where the game wanted us to go, and then we'll take the intended route, quote unquote. Okay, there's one more thing I could get here. Mm -mm -mm. Look at us go, chat. We're just having the time of our lives. Don't need puppets. Don't need anything else. We're exploring the powers of Whip Knuckle, which I will say is definitely one of my favorite weapons so far. Definitely improved my enjoyment of the game by having this. There's a Katetsu. That's a decent katana. Still gotta get used to the timing. Unfortunately, I keep getting hit while practicing. Like... So close. I can do it in, like, short bursts, but not, like, consistently. Oh well. Let's fly around a little bit. All this just to come through here. So now that we have Bat, we don't need Puppet Master. So yeah, Puppet Master's optional, Gurgoth is optional. <laughs> right, Chad? I don't think we need to defeat either of those to get the ending of the game. I mean, I'm sure they intended it for us to do that, but will we do it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe next time. <laughs> so take that game. mid-air cancel. Okay, we probably want to power up the Katetsu at some point. But that is very funny that I have basically every seal that I need except for the final one, which we could go get right now. So here we are just doing stuff out of order again. So this is how we would have normally entered the Condemned Tower. But I don't think I actually need anything from here. I mean, I can satisfy my curiosity by seeing if there was a place that needed the Puppet Master. See, so I can even get this, where I would have been locked out normally. Hmm. Is this even worth doing? I'm willing to at least see if this is a warp. Julius dot dot dots. Julius, what are you doing? Meep meep indeed, Chan. Huh? Oh, it's you. This door is sealed by a powerful barrier. Something's behind it, too. Dun dun dun, right, Chan? You sense something bad? Yes. I can feel it in my gut, and it doesn't feel good. Unfortunately, for now, it's impossible to check what's behind the door. Why is that? The barrier is too strong. I may be able to crack it, but just a bit. It'd be better to contact Yoko and await help. What about you? Well, I described what I had discovered to Julius. <laughs> I don't even know what that means in context of the story now. The Dark Lord's candidate. It sounds as if that should be my next target. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> right, chat? Oops, we already saw how that played out earlier. <laughs> I'll catch up with Ericado. Anyway, I think I just remembered where a warp was, so I actually don't think we need to do the tower at all. So I'm not going to. So I was allowed a moment of refreshment of memory. There should be a warp directly to the left of us, if I'm looking at the map correctly. So now that we're able to do all that nonsense, I should just be able to go there. Is there a reason I couldn't get to this door before? Did I just forget to check that door? It's possible I didn't see it. As I said before, I wish I could make the map a little bigger. 
Yeah, I might not have noticed this on the map. So I think I could have used this to warp out earlier. Yeah, okay, I just missed the warp earlier. I was thinking it was weird there was no warp. I think I just missed that door. Anyway, I guess we'll just proceed. <laughs> right, chat? Just continue to beat the game, I guess. Till proven otherwise. What silliness. So anyway, we have the bats, so we should be able to go this way. If you remember this room, it's gonna lead into some trouble for us. There we go. I can also go get that secret now if I want to. But I'd rather just get to another warp. Oh, I almost fell into that. That was almost really bad. There we go, Chad. This room could be good for Devil as an alternative. It's very late in the game, though. I'm gonna put the, the Giant Axe. Not what I meant to do. I wanted to do the Giant Axe for now. I had a feeling there's going to be a lot of stuff overhead, so that's why I swapped to it. Yeah, we just skipped an entire tower. <laughs> we did the bosses out of order. Let's see what Yoko has to say. Oh, that's not Yoko. It's Succubus. I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't get pulled into a cutscene. Get out of here, Malachi. It was surprisingly extremely tanky. So it could go downwards. Flame Demon is here. I think I had this conundrum last time of where I thought the exit was. Before we go down this way, what happens if we don't? Oh, he's just not ricocheting like I want him to. This leads to he- oh, okay. I chat like, oh, okay. So mostly at this point, we just need to decide where to go. If I remember, Paranoia is further beyond. In order to get to seal five, we have to fight Dario. Oh, it's this room. I love this room. Oh, are they all going left? I mean, this is a good chance to get Succubus. If only they would stop going to the left. Uh, last good chance at Succubus. We'll come back with a stronger weapon. Okay, so let's see. I just came out of that save point. So I think... If I remember correctly, if we go further to the left, that is where we need to go to get Paranoia. Before we do that, I want to unlock a warp. And I remember making this mistake last time. I did not go through these rooms down here. There is something that I want from them. It might be on the left. 
this looking familiar? I'm pretty sure there's warp over here. I figured I'd save myself a headache in case I need to warp out of here later. If I want to go back... Yeah, there's the warp. So if I want to go back, I just go there in the future. I don't remember if Paranoia had a warp. I know we ended up, like, dumping out of where Paranoia was. Which is kind of funny that we can open up that exit near Guest House before we ever fight Puppet Master. Oh, poor game. I think this is just for items. I don't think there's anything down here, but I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, there's nothing of interest here. I was gonna say, wow, he's tanky. He survived three hits from me. Yeah, zero damage is starting to fall off a little bit. So if I do farm for the Great Axe armor, I do get a decent upgrade. Which unfortunately might require going to tower for a faster farm. Otherwise, we have to go to that one spot we were at earlier. But honestly, this is probably still good enough to beat the game. See, so yeah, if I go this way, I can get a guillotine. -er. I'll try... I'll try clearing the whole hallway, and then I'll just leave. Because I think the real hallway I want to go to is below me. But these enemies take forever to kill. Like, Mantricore is good, but Guillotiner is, Guillotine is cheaper. Okay, we managed to get it. Mission accomplished. I'm gonna switch instead of that. I'm gonna use this. It is cheaper, right? I'm not hallucinating. Okay, it's slightly cheaper. Alright, so let's go back down here. We got what I wanted. Ooh, it has a big delay. I mean, on bosses, I just want the cheaper move to spam, for sure. Too early. Oh well. Yeah, moving targets, not the best. Alright, so we're gonna take this save, and we're gonna go fight Paranoia. And then I have seal 5 after I kill Dario. So we skip Puppet Master, we skipped, uh... Gurgoth. <laughs> I mean, we can do Gurgoth whenever we want to, but we don't really have to. I love this hallway just for that. So yeah, now I think we're going the correct way, because we're about to unlock the one way from Guest Demon House. Whatever it's called, Demon Guest House. Which is one of the final areas. Damage is insane. Unfortunately, these enemies are walking all over the place, and if they were at least hunting me, it'd be easier. Thank you for the good luck. We'll probably stop after we beat the next boss, to be honest. I'm getting kind of tired. But hey, I'm happy we did stuff out of order. We, we lost a little bit of time by me forgetting about the warp. Now we have a shortcut. Ouch. I like that you can throw two of them if you dash cancel, which is kind of nice. Leads to a lot of burst damage. Damn, that enemy is tanky. I think by based off of how the chest is positioned, it means it's a mimic. That one was at kind of a weird angle. Well, I guess if we were missing any souls, this room would be good for getting some. I need Flame Demon for anything in this game. Hello there. Goodbye. <laughs> right, chat? We're gonna go with the... Mm, I don't think so. 
deal. Mm, I think that's worth our time. So we now have the ability to progress. Let's use Axe Armor. We'll switch into another clown. Oh, we'll Uka back. Look at that chat. Look at us going towards the true ending. Yeah, I think next time we'll go for the bad ending, and then the normal ending, and then beat the game, and then maybe we'll go back to the other bosses and secrets. I think we have almost everything we need, except for Flying Humanoid. Yeah. Interesting, there's no saves this entire passageway? Really? Huh. That's kind of awkward and terrible. Right, Chad? I mean, I, I guess I could drop down from the guest house, but that seems like a really long detour for a save. Like, I'm looking at the map. We didn't miss anything. There's just no save that entire trip. Or right before the boss. Kind of unfortunate. Uh, let's put on Devil. I play Devil on both of these, because I'm not going to use Bat unless I'm in a panic mode. And if I'm in a panic mode, that's fine. Then we'll just switch over. Could increase my power further. Oh, that's why I took so much damage earlier. This one wasn't wearing Eversing. Oops. That would explain some things with the damage we took in the other fight. Right, chat? Suddenly that makes a little more sense. Oh, it's this one again? There. What the? Didn't I get rid of that? I'm so lost. I thought I could put this on both of them. That's annoying. I would have really liked to heal. <laughs> right, chat? I would have really liked to heal. I wasn't sure what- I thought he was going to come from the right side. He got me. Alright. I thought he was going to react a bit more to being hit, but not really, I've noticed. Wait, what? Wait, the arm does damage? Wait, I didn't know that. Wait, the arm itself hurts you? Uh, that's- Kind of annoying, actually. Today we learned. Uh, how annoying. That small delay when he went to fly stopped me from doing what I wanted. We can definitely hit him with the overhead hits if we need to. I don't think he has that much more health, but I did get kind of cheesed by him a little bit there. Now we should be out of his angles. Alright, before I activate this, I'm gonna do it, so... Bop, 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 bop. There we go. This is why we write it down, chat. <laughs> Listen, we write it down. So, I did not know the hand- I didn't know his arm hurt you. I figured when he shot the laser it would hurt you. That I understand. 
But, uh, interesting. It did speed up the fight a little bit. Ooh, this is gonna be a big defense jump for us. Or actually, no, it's not. I thought it was tankier. It's very good otherwise. So if I want this to be my, like, spellcasting suit, it's not bad. It might be worth doing in some scenarios. I still think I'd like Everesting a little more. So now we have Paranoia, so we can go get the bad ending now. Man, there is just no warp between us and the next bosses there. We just gotta do the long walk, huh? I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. There really should have been a faster way. Like, I understand they put a shortcut by going to the right, you could go downwards. But, like, why isn't there a way to drop down from the room we were in to then go to the left side? Do you know what I mean? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that have made more sense rather than doing what I'm doing here? Whatever, though. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, need to make sure we are off of that for now. Let's put on flying armor on both. Sadly, we still didn't get Lilith. And no one's surprised we did not get Valkyrie. Just felt like asserting dominance real quick there, don't mind me. Ukabak, ugh. That is not the correct one. Right, chat? I'll take Cat, Mandragora, or whatever. Oh, hold on. There we go. So we still don't need Puppet Master, by the way. <laughs> Just FYI, chat, we still don't need it. Um, let's see. Is there anything I want to do before taking a break for the night? I've gone on a very magical journey. The journey has not made any sense. There's one room in the middle of the tower I'd like to go back to at some point. Pinnacle's Progress. We've honestly killed so many bosses at this point. Hmm. So I guess we were supposed to get... I think we were supposed to get Rahab by going here. I guess we could go kill Rahab. I guess. <laughs> we might as well do the boss at some point. I think I do need the ability to go underwater at some point to beat the game. I think. Might be one room I need it in. <laughs> Just maybe? Is there? I'm really trying to think if there was a room that required it or not. I know in Aria you need it, but in dawn do you actually need to go underwater at any point like i could like i could just go beat this boss i would have preferred to do it with uh pretty much anything honestly we kind of have nothing i guess i'll go here first yeah i'm not actually sure if it's required hmm I'm just trying to think when we're in the abyss, is there ever a room where I have to dive underwater? There's a lot of sand rooms. I know we need bat because there's a place we can't jump to. Oh, he's talking about Ericado. You don't have it so easy, do you? But uh, on to bigger things. I trust Yoko and all, but that pretty boy Ericado. Oh my gosh. We're skipping his dialogue tab. <laughs> we, we're at the same point in the playthrough where we're like, oh, okay, we just move on. Right, so we can definitely... Eating my inputs there, that was interesting. Uh, we're definitely at the play point where I could just sell items. Don't think I need anything here. I don't, re I don't need regular knife. I don't need combat knife. Or rat. Or small sword. Or short sword. Or long sword. Or claymore. Or spear. Or halberd, or mace, or axe. We do have bouge, which we'll keep. We have blunt sword, but I'm not going to upgrade this at this point. I could upgrade cestuses if I want to. I don't 
think I really need these. I might just sell the three sevens. Yeah, I don't think I care about any of these at all. We have all rock suit, which kind of covers everything. I'm gonna keep Eversing and maybe the Elfin Robe, because it is intelligence at least. Yeah, I don't care about most of these items. Look at that, Chad. Look how much money we have now. So I should not have to come back to the shop. Unless I really need to. So we're now capped. I do not need to go back unless I really want to buy something. So I could, in theory, go straight for the Masamune. Do I need my money for anything else? I'm not going to buy Silver Gun. I'm not going to buy any armors. I'm not going to buy Soul Eater Ring. I guess I could just buy the Masamune. I think we're good enough. It's at the point where it would actually justify its damage. Because essentially we just go in the corner and just do like something like this. Oh, see, that was such a good rhythm. Damn, why can't I do that when I'm in a boss battle? <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Whatever. Bonk. Hey, look, a spear that I can upgrade if I want for more cash. Yeah, it's probably good to have just a little more range at this point. Um... I actually don't know if Rahab is needed. <laughs> I just... Uh, oh, actually, I forgot to go get the other item. Oops, let's go get that other item, just because we're here. Hmm. I mean, if nothing else, I want to show off extra areas. So we have to do Rahab at some point, dot, dot, dot. I guess I could just choose not to do Rahab. I'd always come back later. Because if I take a break... Oh, I managed to get Spin Devil. That's unfortunate. If I take a break, I can always literally just re-watch my playthrough and find out if I actually needed Rahab or not. Because if so, I'm just skipping Rahab. We'll go back and fight the bosses out of order, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and use... Oh, there it is. Okay. I got confused for a second. We're good. Look at us go. We're in the mirror world. Tear of blood. Ooh, that's a pretty good accessory. I'm glad we went back for that. So we lose a little bit of constitution, but our defense remains the same, but we do more damage. I think chat's kind of like, okay. I mean, at this point, I don't think we need any more drops. Tier of Blood pretty much covers everything we need. Like, even that defense increase is kind of insane. Yeah, we're, we're feeling pretty tanky for the end game. So I can afford to just blow all my HP ups on uh, devil fights if I want to. Poor game. You're slightly too fast there. See, if I'm really quick with the input in between, I can chain them, but when I go too fast, I crouch attack by accident. So it's like all about finding the right rhythm with it. Plus, we see the hammer, the better. That is also, also true. I don't like what they did to him in the plot. Much better in Aria. Hmm. Well, I guess... Is there anything I want to do before we take our break? We got the one mirror item. I could go back to the guest house and get that mirror item. I think that was in the upper right exit, if I remember. Ooh, 
Actually, can I even take this exit back because of how I did the rooms? Let's find out. Yeah, otherwise I think we've seen almost everything. If not, we'll call... Oh, I'm using Paranoia. I was wondering what was happening there for a second. Damn, didn't get the soul. Nothing else, Chad. This is more chances of getting Succubus slash Lilith. Lilith improves our magic damage. It can also help us upgrade to a pretty good sword. But we haven't really gotten what we needed for it. Let me check my notes real quick. So if we wanted to get the sword... It requires great sword into Durandal. I don't think we picked up a great sword, right? No. And we are definitely not going to bother with some of these for sure. Yeah, it looks like we can't get the Durandal except by crafting, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm not grinding for Valkyrie. gonna take me where I want it to. Well, we were just talking about great swords. <laughs> right, chat? We were just talking about that. Uh, well... I guess the question is, we're the great sword. If I do get Valkyrie, it becomes Durandal. If I get the thing after that, I get Lilith. That sword is really good, but I don't really want to grind Valkyrie. That might be just not worth our time. We're gonna have the Masamune. Chat saw how my luck was on some of the other ones, but hey, at least we got the other item that I missed. I was thinking we were missing a, good, a big sword at some point. I wasn't sure if it was the one we were thinking of or not. So I'm glad we went back, because that saved us, like, I don't know, 30,000 in cash? We can't do the room check that I was looking to do, but we did another one. Hmm. Damn, there is just nothing really close to what I need it to be. It has to be from the right side. That's the problem. I guess I could do it from the pinnacle. Because otherwise, since we start with the Masamune, we killed some of the Barbic Kuas or whatever they were, the purple demons. Those are the things that upgrade the Masamune, which would actually be decent. I'm actually kind of surprised we didn't get those. So if you remember, we are finding some of the purple spear enemies underground. I guess I could have farmed one. I guess. We killed like 10 or so. I like that the pinnacle is somehow the closest warp to the correct destination other than maybe... arguably the blue warp beneath me. But due to how I need to move... I think it might make more sense to do this. I'd rather go through a horizontal hallway of easy enemies than climb vertically. It's much easier to fall than to climb. So yeah, I guess I could in theory fight those enemies. We saw them kind of near the... One of the warps beneath us. Hmm. I'll think about it. We won last time with just the Masamune. Although I think we're going to be bringing a special soul to end the game. We did not collect it last time. Oh, we got Lilith finally. Well, that's kind of tilting it if I get a Valkyrie now. That might be worth actually doing. Hmm. 
Right, Chad? We kind of incidentally got one of the souls that I needed. Hmm. Contemplating. So, if nothing else, what that'll mean is I could give up a little bit of strength. I love how it says raises strength, but it, oh, it, but it doesn't show it on the indicator. Like, it shows it in the mini stat screen, but not here. So I could just wear Lilith if I want to for more damage here. And we are basically just using Mandragoras. That seems fair. Okay, so I think I needed to go to the current setup, I think, to get to the mirror. Remember correctly? We got there eventually. Now the question is, are there... Wait, what? Did I look at that improperly? Now I'm just going left. I think I looked at it improperly. I'm double checking what's over here enemy wise before I go further. I don't think there's anything in this room, right, of interest? No. Unfortunate. I mean, I don't mind getting a Persephone just to show it off. Last chance for Persephone before we never come back here ever again. Nope. We tried. So yeah, I think in theory we could get a Valkyrie. It's just that, do I really want to kill a hundred of them, or do I just want to beat the game? Yeah, I think one of the rooms above is not correct. Gotta go fix that. What room was not... Oh, I see what happened. Um... need something more like this. I'm gonna mess up this passageway if I want to. Now I can go at the bottom left or the bottom right. If only I had one that went up and or down and left, I would actually be able to complete the entire maze. I don't think I have one of those, right? No. Like a suspicious lack of them. At least we made the puzzle a little better for exploration, I guess. Because I'm not going to take the puzzle on the upper left at any point. Wait, what? Hold on. Just, did I not notice that I blocked something? Whoops. I'm going to blame that on being tired. Was the upper right not connected? Oh, the upper right was not connected properly. Okay, I was gonna say, I was like, wait a minute. I thought that was connected. Um. Hmm. We do not have many that would do this. So we could technically leave out through the bottom left. I'm just seeing if there's a better way to do this. There's really not a lot of pieces to work with, which kind of sucks. Like, in theory, I could do something like this and leave this as an open space. Uh, I think I need this tile. At least I have something connecting over here. I could do something like... I want to rotate these a little more. So I could have this one come up, maybe. Just thinking about this. That would spare one of these tiles, so the six could go in the corner. Do something like this. And the seven could fix things. 
And then I just need three over here. Then I could do something like this. Oh, if this was where the 13 was. I would have saved me some time. <laughs> I could make these two connect for no reason if I wanted to. Hmm. Yeah, because there's only one real three-way here, so I could try to do something like this. That way I can shuffle around the numbers a little more. Uh, I don't really need the three there. Yeah, the, the lack of pieces makes me sad. It definitely makes me sad. At least I could do something like this if I wanted to. Oh, oops. I didn't realize I moved that piece out of the way. Um, I don't think this super matters. What order I do this in? So can I have the free slot here? I mostly just need the vertical one here, I think. That's fun. Is there a way I could use this differently? I don't think so. Ugh. Hate sliding puzzles. <laughs> Brain is, like, not cooperating. So I think what I want to do is move this free spot over one more. If I come this way, I just need them to go horizontal, and I think I could fix it. But I also don't have a lot of slots for it. I think this would also work. I wish I had a tile that was like the opposite direction in three-way. But I don't think I got one, sadly. Oh well. We'll get there eventually. So I think the other one was definitely worth going back for. I doubt this will be any good. I think the accessories so far have been pretty much on point, quote-unquote. Alright, so what was behind here, out of curiosity? Raculous Tunic. That might be the one that I was thinking of, because I remember getting a really strong armor at some point. Is this the one where it's just, like, better than ever seeing? Yes, it is, chat. There we go. This is what we call... That was worth going back for, chat. That was worth it. Tear of blood from the other place, and then an armor one point stronger in defense compared to Eversing. Plus, it adds intelligence. So no matter what build we do, this is just the best. So that is a big, big, big boost. So that was worth it. Oh, you have to actually cancel the uh, other mode. That is a big damage boost. Now if we want to farm anything, that is going to save a lot of time. Hmm. What do you think, chat? Should I just leave Rahab? I'm thinking of leaving Rahab. Which is <laughs> like, the, the, the boss is already annoying, but like, now I have like this, the most godly armor possible. I guess I'll reset the puzzle. That way we have a way to escape. Too fast. I need to slow down my inputs. There we go. More controlled. Honestly, all we need is Valkyrie. That's the sound it makes when you're out of item space. Hmm. <laughs> right, chat? Hmm. Interesting. 
sorry, peeping eye. We did not get your ability. So we know we can get the level 5. A lot of Une level ups. We know we can get the level 5 seal by just going forward and defeating Dario. We should probably kill him at some point, just to showcase the bad ending again. I don't think we need Gurga. I, I, I know there's a couple sections that kind of have water, but I don't think you ever swim in it in the abyss. I feel like it's all sand. Unless sand has some weird property that requires it, we might not need it. So I think what we're going to do, Chab, we're going to continue this, I think, next week. We're going to determine if Rahab is needed. Otherwise, there's not much we could do in the bottom left. All of that, I think, requires swimming. We could try to get Valkyrie just to power up. I guess I'm willing to try to get the Valkyrie. Just because of the standpoint where at least we have the other power-up lined up, we could just go get it. It would be pretty strong. I think there was some in here. I don't think if there's anything else I want to do before going on the break, because we'll, we'll do all the endings next time. These were Valkyries, right? Although, the way there's space in this room, maybe there was a better hunt in the Demon Guest House. There was that one room in the upper right we could technically go to. Damn, that sword technique is so fast. If they're near the top of this room, it's not too bad. <laughs> they clip me for one damage. It showed me chat, I guess. Oh, was it just a oh. Yeah, there she is. I mean not my favorite location. But I could do it. I think the room in the uh demon guest house is faster. We're gonna try until we at least level, then I'll switch what room we're doing it in. I thought there were two up here in my defense. I didn't realize there was only one. Because so I was thinking I would just come up here and just kind of brutalize them real quick. Hopefully get what we needed. We'll do a little drop down. She dropped something? She did drop her armor. Poor Valkyrie. Otherwise, we'll find another location. I don't think if there's anything else worth farming. We could go try to get the uh, upgrade to the katana, because the katana doing damage is actually huge. Not that I think we'll be using katana for very much. It has been a long time, Leneth. It has indeed been a long time, Leneth. Feel bad for her. At least we're getting some parts back. Like, she just straight up explodes. There's just nothing she can do. So let's go until we level. And if we don't get it by then, I could go back to the demon guest house, even though there's not a fast way to leave there. I think there was a Valkyrie in that room. There's definitely a Persephone and other things that I can, in theory, get. But if nothing else, I could try to get something crazy from that. I like that that just kills every time. Poor enemy. <laughs> she actually just gets dumpstered every time we come by. Not my favorite farm spot, but I think we're gonna level before we pick it up, sadly. So sad. Well, we're gonna hit level 35, chat. Yeah. On the plus side, our strength score is gonna be pretty high. So I feel bad for our upcoming bosses. There is a specific red soul that I'm gonna get that will trivialize the game. I just wanted to use a weapon upgrade while we still had it. Like, th this would be like one of the few bosses where it would matter. 
So if we could get this upgrade, it would be huge. Just because we've been using the Buer, but I think we could do... Or huge, I mean. But I think we have something stronger. So it's a 77 currently. Great Sword has 48, but we can upgrade it twice. And more importantly, that upgrade also includes intelligence. So it's a slightly less laggy weapon. Oh, we did get a soul, but it wasn't the right one. So sad. It upgrades intelligence, which we are using, because we're using stuff like Mandragora. So we could use it as kind of like the caster beat stick. Right. I'm gonna give up on this farm. Trying to remember if there's anywhere else. Where we could take advantage of the Valkyrie spawns. Too fast. Hmm. Does chat remember where there was more than one Valkyrie or one that was closer to an exit? The Demon Guest House might have a couple. I'm thinking that one room in the upper portion of the place is good. It just takes a long time to walk there. It's kind of annoying if I want to end stream after that. But I might have to just deal with it. The purple creatures, I only saw in a couple of spots. Don't know which would be the best farm for that. So if we did go for the purple creature... That would let us upgrade the Masamune into the Osafune. And then if we defeat the giant floating demon that shot the death ball, the Cthulhu monster, we could upgrade the Katana again. But that enemy just takes, I think, a little too long to farm. Uh, I don't think I need anything this way. Our money is pointless, we don't need it anymore, unless we're just restocking, healing. So there's nothing in the shop we are, will ever purchase. Nothing will ever eclipse our current weapons in the shop. Nothing will ever touch our armor. Nothing will touch our accessories. Welcome, Murphy. There might have been one more spot for it. Well, thank you for subscribing, Murphy. Ooh, wait a minute. Better spot. Hold on. There we go. That's a faster reset. Now, is there more than one in this hallway? Is she the only one? She's the only one. Yeah, that's much better. The question is more, do I want a heart? Yeah, this seems like the fastest way to get one. Wow, the fact that that still hit her is kind of insane. I don't mind spending my mind ups on this. Just, just to avoid going back to the shop or doing anything else. Our final red soul will cost like basically zero MP. So MP is not going to be a concern once we unlock it. Like, our current one is, I think, 30. I think it costs, like, 5 or something dumb. Like, we're we're not gonna run out, Chad. I need, like, 4 full mind-ups. Ops. Maybe not even 3. Right, let, let's try to do this. <laughs> right, Chad? We'll get there eventually. Fun game. We're believing in the 1%. Come on. I'm surprised that did not lead to a hidden room over there. You could do it. Something like that. I will collect this money, because I'm worried that we're going to have to purchase wind-ups more than once. 
Yeah, I'm curious how strong this upgrade is going to be. And we can always rewind if we don't like what it is. over this way to save some mind ups I guess oh we had it there for a second uh, that should save a mind up for two I guess if I land exactly where the candle is I could get the heart back which causes me to not use as many Maybe that's the strat Right, Chan, when you're just looking to conserve the MP so you menu less. Come on, game. Brutal. If I throw it too early, I don't get the heart. Because getting one heart is basically like getting the amount we need. Yeah, that stops you from menuing, which I think might be worth it. My menuing is not very quick. Bon Valkyrie. Don't make me level again through trying to get this item. Game, please. Shake your head, chat. mind up. The only other thing I can think that I would want to farm just to show it off would probably be Succubus to show off the glitch. I should be able to basically like hug attack my way through the, the money doors and skip having the money requirements. I figured since we actually surprisingly almost had the money total we might as well go for it once. And then just never bother with the doors. Because at, at this point, there is no way any of them could be anything useful. So at this point, it would just be so that we're not wasting time getting money. Although, sadly, we are just rolling nothing. Painful. One day, Chad. One day we will see Valkyrie's drop. She also has a second item, by the way, we haven't seen. Who knows what that is? <laughs> We've seen a couple of hundreds drop, which we will need to recover the mind of loss. Take your head, chat. One day. Mmm. Feel that 1%. Mmm. That verse is funny. On game. Don't make me level again without seeing this soul, please. On a sorrow, please. Yeah, I don't really want. This is like one of two souls that I want to collect by the end of the game. The others are just nice to have. Yeah, the RNG is definitely taketh away at the moment. No give, only take. Come on, game. Brutal. Alright, Chad, come on. Painful. Oh boy, we might start needing a counter. This is so sad. Okay, chat, time check. It is now 1.30 in the morning. I would like to go to sleep in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> We're going to do this for about 10 minutes. Hopefully it does not take the entirety of that 10 minutes. If we do not receive it, and we'll take the stat ups as a alternative to what I wanted. Come on, Valkyrie. We're killing a decent number per second. Or per minute, I mean. We're just not getting lucky.
Well, that reminds me. There was that ceiling tile in the guest house I never went back to. There we go. Jeez, that took way too long. Uh, let's go ahead and just show it off, because I probably will not use it again. There we go. Look at us go, chat. We're just full-on not caring. Alright, let's go see if it's worth it. Oops, I got bonked. Okay, chat, drum roll. <laughs> I mean, if nothing else, I I'm happy we showed off the soul, but I would like for this to be an upgrade that is valid. So we're gonna save the game. There's pretty much nothing else I wanna hunt at this point other than the red soul that will beat the game. Uh, we have everything we need. I didn't use slaughter on a couple of bosses I should have. That was more shame on me. I just didn't feel like doing it. It would have helped, I think, p potentially on Gurgoth, but we didn't fight Gurgoth, so... Oops, I guess. Right, Chad? Just oops. I could have used it on uh, Dario's first form, for sure, instead of Madragora. That probably would have been smarter to do. It would have kept me closer to him. I could have alternated uh, close range Whip Knuckle with that. That would have been probably more efficient. But oh well. Right now, Slaughter probably does like 160, so if I need to one-shot an annoying enemy to farm that Mandragora doesn't quite kill, it probably work. Yeah, kind of one of those things where I'm like, there's a couple bosses I could use it on. <laughs> then uh, we can't use it on any boss that requires jumping, so Rahab is out, Puppet Master's out. I can't use it on, I think the boss's name is Aguni. I could in theory use it on the Conductor boss, but I don't think that would be wise. Also, I realized the save was closer. Our stats are actually pretty decent. I think we beat the game at this level last time. So we basically made up for not killing any bosses. Question mark. We, sk we skipped a few. And by a few, I mean three. Alright, so moment of truth. Is this actually worth leveling up? I don't super need Lilith at all. Oh, we're asking about Dimitri. That must be B Dimitri Bilinov. Actually, I don't know much about him. Apparently, people call him Dimitri the Mirror. Mirror. He always lurks behind the scenes and never comes out in the open. I see. That's all I have. Do you need anything else? Well, let's find out. Alright, so one Valkyrie makes it 58. Why it's Valkyrie before Lilith, I don't understand. So we got the Durandal. So you can see this adds a lot of stats, chat. Like, it's, it's a lot of stats. So if we want an int-based weapon, this is our final weapon of the game. We will not bother getting more. I love that inc I love that synthesizing this makes its stats go down. Like are 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 they puffing something? Like why? <laughs> but why though? <laughs> why would I ever do this upgrade? You guys are actually crazy. Shake your head, chat. We call that bad trade. Uh, I'll just use Bat Company on both. Then we'll go back to using Golem. Which is now displaying correctly in-game now, by the way. Before it was glitched. So we lose, like, a little bit of damage, right? But not that much. And more importantly, we're not, like, hung in the air forever. Yeah, we lose 5 damage, but we become tankier. More importantly, our magic damage is way stronger. Now we have, like, a pretty good mix of things. Yeah, that also means I'm not locked into my animation as long. So technically, if I put my back to something, I could do that repeatedly. Because it does spawn immediately. It's still a little awkward. But at least we have options. Now if we want to farm with this, for example, and it's not one-shotting, now it should one-shot. 
And as I said before, it having a faster ending animation is probably for the best. Uh, let's see. Anything else worth hunting at all before we're done? Hmm. Could go for Succubus. I could upgrade the Masamune. trying to remember where it was. It was near Wizardry Lab. I just forget where in Wizardry Lab it was. That was the only thing I wasn't sure about. Because Masamune has some pretty good stats. I think it adds 39 by itself if I remember correctly. Yeah. So the, basically we would potentially add 9 extra damage a swing. I think that might be worth it. I just don't remember where the other thing is. And the Garden of Madness somewhere? Trying to recall. There are only a couple hallways where you try to dodge them. I'm gonna look very briefly. If I don't see it, we don't see it. So I'll, I'll keep the exchange for now. Lilith is not a make or break for me. I basically put Lilith on a weapon, but then I can put Golem on. Though I still do decent damage. almost got Mandragora. That would have been awkward. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here that I need. The upper floor... Oh, you know what I could do? Let let's go to the upper floor, and that'll be the last thing that I do. And then we'll take that break. Because I'm thinking, uh, you know, whether or not we see the Spear Demon is not a make or break for me, but... I am curious about that other passageway we opened. What was actually up there? It was just healing or anything useful. Now that was a good sword swing. We just noped him. Actually, what was over here? I was just one of you. Disappointing. Yeah, I kind of remember them being, like, close-ish to Wizardry Lab, but that might be between, like, Wizardry Lab and another location. It'll take a bit more time to get to. That thing's lingering hitbox is nasty. Two shots to kill, that's good. Oh, Speed of Witch, there it is. It's not in a great spawn location. Hmm. Right, chat? Hmm. Oh, that's... Oh, that's, like, annoyingly far. I mean, I found it. There has to be a better one than this. Because, like, look how far up it goes. I'll kill three more, just to humor myself. But then we're not going to do a farm here. I'm going to double check where this thing also spawns. We definitely fought it earlier than this. I thought it was near one of the uh, bone pillar rooms down near the bottom of the screen. We'll do one more, and then we're gonna go investigate that final room, and that will be our final thing. Actually, I wanna try that one more time. If it was like this, Get our level up real quick, and I do this. Oh, it's like just out of range. Oh well. Alright, so that one is not viable. We need one in like a room like this. But it needs to be like near a door. <laughs> right, chat? Like, it needs to be just like a little closer to a door. So we definitely saw one in a different location that was not this.
what was up here? Ring. Rune ring. What does that do? Boost MP regeneration. Hmm. That is actually really useful for farming. I wish I had that earlier. As I'm mostly done with farms in this game. There's only one more farm, honestly. But honestly... If all I'm doing is meleeing, it might make sense to wear that. So let's go ahead and make our way to a warp. And then I guess we're just going to leave ourselves at one of the final areas. What a shame. That would have been a nice Masamune upgrade. But I think these two weapons we have, the Bouge and the Sword, I think cover every need that we have. Oh. I could have had Ninja Suit earlier. That's so sad. Right, chat? Well, we found another room unintentionally. I, I guess that would have made a difference. We were still using, like, Breastplate. Hmm. I don't think I found that in my first playthrough. Yeah, I think that's when we were... We just purchased, I think, Breastplate, and I was like, good thing we had this. And then we got it from another drop, like Valkyrie or something at some point. And I'm like, well, if we didn't have it before, we have it now. Remember I said that earlier. That would have been nice. The more important thing is we got Eversing. Eversing is definitely worth its money. That was a big defensive boost. It made Paranoia a little less terrible. <laughs> Even though, I guess technically we would have had that by now. So yeah, we never did Rahab. We never did Puppet Master. We're probably not going to do Gurgoth. We'll go for the bad ending. Then we'll go for normal ending. Then we'll go for true ending. And then we'll clean up the map, I think. I'm kind of curious how many other things we missed. But yeah, the problem with this is, like, I just don't remember which ones were the ones we were interested in. Because I think there was some in the Dark Chapel. I just don't remember where they were. And technically, if we want to get that other upgrade, we could fight the Great Axe Armor to upgrade our current weapon. So there's like a couple places if we really want to squeeze out more damage for the final boss, we could do it. But I think our weapons are strong enough. We should be fine, especially with the Red Soul. It's just more, did we want an upgrade for doing a lot of Red Soul spam, which we are going to do, to be fair. We are 100% going to be spamming a lot of things that require in. We're going to be doing some occasional sword swings. I kind of like the look of the weapon. Ooh, not enough to kill. If we somehow got Uranus this thing, it would be kind of funny, but I really doubt it. Another chance at Succubus. Got denied. Let's pause here for the night chat. So I think next week we'll just beat the game. We'll beat it on all endings and we might 100% the map. We still have to fight, I think, Death and then the Conductor, Aguni, and the final boss. So we still have four bosses for next time. So let's chat. So overall, we had amazing luck of all things on the water screaming creature that makes a horrible sound when you kill it. But we had some pretty terrible luck on things like Valkyrie. I think we did okay with Ukabak. It still took a while, but I think that was within reason. Um, I do think getting the early upgrade of the Axe Armor plus Manticore did make a big difference in clear speed. Because I remember struggling a lot to kind of clear things to get souls in the first place. So having a weapon that basically one-touched about 40 to 50% of the map... And the fact that it's still good right now is kind of insane. I think we found a couple extra hidden rooms. We may or may not have found everything last time. I don't think we found the ninja uh, thing last time. So we still have some things to do out of order. So I think once we clear all this up, we could go back and finish off those bosses. 
It'll be kind of funny to come and fight uh, Rahab with uh, all the endgame items and devil and everything else. Rahab had it coming, chat. But anyway, let's pause here for the night and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video at the bottom, I'd just like to say thank you for watching and hope to see you again in the next part.